See, I don't mind just being topless. I just need to make sure that we put it on the stream as topless stream or one of those kind of hot tub streams because that's where the money really is. David, I like your idea of the thong, but you want it not to be edible because it'll just melt in the water, especially if you add cream <laughs> to it. Honestly, you do. You just spoil all of my fun. I no, just listen, got no, that. No, I get that, but it, where are we live? I just got the oh. Dungeon Daddy tattoo with you on it. We're live. Right? Well, oh, come on. Well, yeah, to be fair, that was going to be the big reveal for the, the year's anniversary. We are live, right? We are live. Hi. <laughs> Hello again. Oh, wow. Well, just... Hi. Yeah, we'll just. Should we What's just go the position of oil it up during the stream? Because I have brought oil, I'm just saying. <laughs> Why have you I will oil? pay you money not to. <laughs> Well, you better would... try and open that wallet, mate. <laughs> 0. 0. 0. 0.00002 pence. I'll just pay your money. Uh, yeah. Hi. Uh, welcome Hello, to <laughs> welcome to Sanity Check Gaming for the Tuesday's D and D in the world of Florium. Mm. It is our world of Florium. Well, it's just my world of Florium. It's well, me that's made yeah. up as a homebrew D and D adventure for my reprobates here, who happen to be here. Uh, some of them uh, are unavailable to this evening, that's fine. I think we're going to have someone join in eventually, but they will need to message us if she's watching. Mm. Wink. Wink, wink. However, <laughs> yeah, we can go from that. Oh, ten, so, uh, we're up to ten already. Hi, ten viewers. Look at Hi, this ten, show. six of whom are us. Hi, yeah. everybody. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Four oh, no, I, I'm not watching the stream, so five of which. <laughs> yeah, yeah, five, five of us. So five of us are watching the stream, <laughs> at least. And then we've got another I would be watching, watching this I would be watching the stream, but I'm getting adverts. Yes, this is true. Okay. You may I'm notice the word. I also, I also Hi, appreciate. Hello. I also appreciate the fact that um, David has now got his streamer light and streamer mustache. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All I need is <laughs> streaming shades. Yeah, this is good. Wait, no, uh, sorry, that's my streaker my... shades. I have streaker <laughs> shades. I hopefully will be setting up my. Uh streaming set up soon as well so instead of the stupid uh, background on my wall of shame that is only a small part of my wall of shame i'm trying to get the jacuzzi um approved i don't think that's quite fine when we're having it in a while <laughs> yeah certainly uh we've went up to 56 followers we were at 55 earlier uh yes my son oh, oh. oh thanks Hello, son. He's not yeah, a Have you heard Rachel's language? She can't watch this stream. Oh, wait, that's a conversation oh, we had. That's, that's, that's not me. That's terrible. That, that one with yeah. a real sly has subbed to us. You won. I oh. thought that was our phone. Oh. Do we have more than three subscribers then? I've just subscribed today, like yeah, five minutes Rachel's ago. Subscribed as well. But does that kind of count? I suppose, I suppose it all counts in the grand scheme yes. of things. Yes. Well, I mean, they can't differentiate between me subscribing <laughs> as Lee Max, you know, one uh, or anyone else. So we're cool. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. I've, um, okay, Leo sent me a very nice um, message, and he actually seems genuinely sad, so I'm not going to make fun of him. I have to look yeah. he doesn't watch, he's always out, so. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he has easy eye candy, to be fair. Uh... <laughs> oh, God, that's true! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no, we've lost, we've lost <laughs> the female demographic. Here. Oh, so sorry, <laughs> you're you're no, we're we're going to lose our subscribers now. <laughs> yeah. Um, Quick, Eggy, uh, give yeah, them the speaking of yeah, speaking of subscribers, uh, yeah, we are we're now at affiliate. So the fact is, uh, you can help by subscribing to help uh, us poor little sods uh, get stuff. It goes straight back into the channel anything we make. However, I would suggest you do not pay because uh, Amazon Prime have a free Use subscription service. Prime. If you manage yes. to link through your uh, Amazon Prime account into Twitch, you will be able to go down to the subscribe button, and when you go to click, you will have the free option of a free sub uh, Prime subscription for a month, where you will get you all our content. You only have one though. Yes, you only, only have one. one. So please choose wisely. Choose us. It's you know, you know, September though, so you do get twenty five percent off of subs if you choose to give us one. This is also true. I think it was up to thirty percent off as well, especially when I uh, gifted a sub to someone as well. But I think I thought it just said anyway. twenty. It was yeah. thirty. He's right. Oh no no no! It's thirty. Now. It is thirty yeah. percent. However. Well, I think it goes down every time you you do that for a subscription. Uh, they'll they'll mm. they the lower the the rate. However. Enough about that. We should be talking about everyone on stream here. You already know me. I am the glorious DM of Dick Naylor or Working Class Hero. Uh, we'll oh. hopefully start to oh. do stuff with Real the other Sly streaming. just gifted um, a subscription to Jim. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Some man, Sly. <laughs> yeah, I had this problem as well. 
Smooth yeah, operator. Random, and it gives it all the time. It's like, oh, okay, yep. we're in. Right, right. uh, right. Yeah, uh, yes. that is also an option. You can obviously uh, gift subscriptions. I think it's like three pound ninety nine or something. Anyway, you with know yeah, even it's three ninety nine. Yeah, I think that's the base price. Yeah, which isn't much, but it's it still at the same time three ninety nine. And this uh, this uh, climate, especially with the new prime minister coming in, giving money to energy companies to give back to us. How nice. Anyhow, we, we should talk about something else. Not to talk about yes, that. we shouldn't talk about politics. We will not talk about <laughs> that, politics. That is for uh, working class heroes Twitch. Yes, yeah, so that'll be for working class there. heroes. <laughs> Hi, Rock Chick, how are you doing? Signed in. Oh, we're okay. Yeah, yeah. You're about to see your big brother do World of Florium. Uh, you're going to see him do his best at DMing. We've got a wild Sally. Sally. Hey, Sally. Hey. 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 <laughs> No, we're gonna have to change everything. Oh, we're joking. We're fine. Sorry. <laughs> we're able to do this for the sh uh, screen share again. You'll notice that we're not in our usual setup simply because we're doing maps. I we're just in time for the introduction, Sally. So I, I, I would also like. I'm like just gifting the sub to you, Richard. God know, damn thanks. it! I appreciate that. <laughs> I, 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 will, I will point out that um, we would have had the map set up, but I've decided to rest on my laurels since uh, that has reached the follower count. <laughs> Um, oh so yeah, I decided that I was going to sleep before this stream and then get yeah. phone calls from people going, where the fuck are Sleepers you? Sleepers for the week. <laughs> yeah, no, no shit's given in this channel, apparently. Uh, <laughs> not, not anymore. We've, we've, made our, we've made our quota. However, without further ado, we should introduce ourselves to everybody here. To my left, facing the other way, I'll be the other way right, we have uh, the glorious moustached and uh, mulleted. David, David, how are you? <laughs> Tell us who you're playing. Uh, and you pointed the wrong stuff. direction. No, it's this way. I will, be, I will be playing as nothing more than just my mullet, which is actually accidental. <laughs> um, the mullet was not planned. That's just the way my hair sits today. I will actually be playing as the mighty Sir Janice de Grande, the greatest bard in the world. Um, a half-orc with quite a few different things to prove, so hopefully he can make himself useful today if he isn't used as a club by the things we have to face. <laughs> That's a good point. This could also happen. And then to my right, which I should point back to this way because apparently Ooh. you're absolutely right, Scott. Yes, sir. We have the wonderful Jim. He is a European champion, would you believe? But, he is but, an actual yeah, he European is. champion. We also have another subscription. Thank you. Thank really, you we're, we're oh, really nice. you off as Again, and I guess it's to Zach because he's been with us from the beginning. And I really Hell yeah. appreciate Hell yeah. Oh, no, this is real fly. Oh, hey. This yeah, is real fly given the, getting the bits now. He's cheering yeah. now. I, uh, oh, we yeah, do have bits as well. Start, mate. You deserve oh, it, so thank you exactly. very much. However, um, uh, interrupting on uh, our European champion here to my left, we should speak to sorry, Jim. James. Jim, how are you, mate, and who are you playing? I'm good, and I am playing your fantastic, awesome human ranger who has got some vengeance to look for. Yeah, and what's his name? Ronan. Ronan. We're looking out for Ronan here. That'll be what good. He is a uh, name. Currently been our MVP so far, although everyone's standing for Melgrim, who we were speaking yes. straight to the bottom. Let's go straight to the star of the show, apparently, as we look <laughs> at our, the guy at the bottom with the big black beard. We're looking at Scott or the Lazy Egypt, and who are you and what are you be playing? With a fitting name. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Um, I, I am playing Melgrim. Um, I am everyone's favourite dwarf, apparently. Um... And yeah, he is going to take vengeance on like Ralph because fuck Ralph. <laughs> um, <laughs> speaking of, <laughs> speaking of, down to oh. my bottom right here, we were going to have to, or oh, my bottom left here, we will see the lovely <laughs> Leo Mac Lee. Who are you and what do you play? Uh, I am playing the Turtle Cleric Ralph. Um, I try and keep people up, even though they insist really hard and try to kill themselves. I do my very best to help everyone, apart from Melgrim. Fuck Melgrim. I hope he dies in this episode. <laughs> I can't wait for him to die too, and then it's like, you're just going to be sitting there like, where's Melgrim? I'm going to tell you, Ralph is immediately, I'm saving a res spell, a level three, so I can get you back in your feet and be like, ah, a necromancy for the rest <laughs> of the campaign. <laughs> Ah, don't manage it. But I tell you, it's a little sixteen. I'll use true resurrection. No matter what <laughs> happens, you're coming back. I was going to be to honest. Say you, say, you say that, but we are so close to a hype train. Apparently, on stream, <laughs> <laughs> it's, a it's a problem. This is a problem. However, uh, from uh, from Ralph from this side, we will go well. to 
uh, the ball of sunshine is the person who makes us all better, really. Uh, the person Me. who came in late, but hey, uh, we go to this side, down here to my bottom right, and uh, there will be Sally, uh, the ever mm. wonderful ball of sunshine, Sally. Sally, uh, introduce yeah. yourself, and who do you play? Hello, I'm Sally, and I play. Um... Oh my god, my brain's just gone. No, Daphne. No, no. Daphne, Daphne, thank you yeah, very much. Right. Come on. <laughs> you guys are here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, my brain just went, no, we're not doing this today. Um, and she's a fallen asthma paladin and she's just amazing and funny and uh, emotionally unstable. Like us all, Sal, like us all in real life. <laughs> I don't know who her. she's based this character on. <laughs> right. No idea. Uh, it's a no total, idea either. Total mystery. And yeah. last but not least, we have the other ball of sunshine in our lives here. We have just below me here. We have, uh, we have Rach. Uh, we can forgive her because you know she is a Macam, but she is an exception to the rule. Rachel, who are you and who are you playing? <laughs> Hi, I'm Rachel. I play nine monk human. You don't really know much about her because she's very new. Uh, the true. first time she appeared was at the beginning of the stream. Um, so we're just getting to know her, and you will find out more. But you must watch, or else we will find you and set Melgrim on you. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the Melgrim. Hey, everybody, so everybody wants Melgrim set on them. <laughs> Noise of hell. Out of <laughs> you that, I need, so uh, I need to actually highlight what Sly said. Uh, he's going to marry you and make his Melgrim. That was fucking uh, hilarious. Uh, that was very, very yeah. funny. Uh, um, yeah. I worry about this stream sometimes. I, I really do. I feel like just sometimes daddy issues. Yeah, well, I do, don't we all? <laughs> um, <laughs> speaking of daddy DMs, hi. <laughs> uh, I am a uh, working. You all know I'm working class hero. I'm Dick Naylor. For those who know me, uh, I am. He buys his vest at the same place as me. Yeah, yeah, we we're getting GM vests. It's uh, merch we're looking into. GM and DM vests for Sanity Check Gaming, so yeah. they know who the DMs are. Uh, we will be doing that. Uh, I've got loads of stuff to promote, but listen, we'll do that at the end of the stream because right now we're going to go into the mysterious world of Valorium. <laughs> Does everyone remember where we left off last week and how we got to said uh, jumping off point? I think we can yeah, ten ten years. Years. We walked across a branch. <laughs> yeah. We Argued about whether yeah, we walked down it. You walked across a fallen tree, is uh, a wee bit more, more accurate there. Uh, Tony was, was talking was, about yeah. dragons. Oh, we did have a conversation with um, dragons. Ooh. Um, Gaz's foot went through the tree and yeah. got mm -hmm. the sap on it, which was acid. Yes. Um, it was exciting. That very strange acid. That, didn't well, that was, that was kind of cool, that, though. That was pretty badass, yeah. And then there oh. was a fallen, like, there was a space between the trees as well, which we just assumed was a fallen tree, but we're not sure. That we also think that uh, Ronan might good. be a tree because he has a big cotton. <laughs> I am Groot. So, I am Groot. <laughs> to try and make this sound Groot. a little bit more exciting than uh, just that they were walking along a fallen tree. Uh, so, where we left off, uh, our intrepid group of adventurers are falling into the bottom of the canopy of the world of Fal into the Iron Oak Ocean's depths. From there, they seem to be trying to find a way out after almost getting sacrificed or pretty much falling to their doom to be sacrificed to whatever belevenant god that the, the, the Kreen or the Thakreen have offered up to them. However, from there, they managed to survive the night at least, uh, come across a lot of weird and wonderful creatures and things about within the canopy. Uh, they also came across the likes of Nyla, the human monk, and they came across the human ranger as well on their on their on their travels from the capture. From there, they started to find perches to try and climb out uh, to help their escape from the canopy itself. They're now into the, all the branches, where unfortunately they were about to get jumped by some strange and mysterious creatures, which unfortunately will resemble, for the purposes of this game, monkeys and a gorilla. As they've seen this big, huge albino gorilla running towards them, they almost immediately found something in the back of the neck as the hair started to stick up. They realised they were being watched as they looked further up into the canopy, about 60 foot above. They were surrounded by three more albino monkeys. 
and we left it there. So, for the first time in the stream ever, going into episode, I'm sure is six, but hey, I'm being told it's five. Maybe I yeah, thought it was but... six. I thought it was six as well. Yeah. But then I, then right. I looked at the thing and it said it was five in the previous thing. No, I said it was four. I'm like, hmm. You, yeah, it was five yesterday, so it must be six today. However, we shall go straight into the combat as I move it over to... Actually, no, let's not do that. I want to share the screen first to see if this works. How are we Great time to find out. looking? Okay. We can't afford music, by the way, so get used to me doing this for the next hour. We, yeah. we can afford music, it's just um, everyone ignored me. <laughs> Said about it. Look, sleepyhead, we all turned up on time. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've disappeared. Yes. So let us look at. I will need to chill. This is so weird. I'm not going to look at Twitch for this point because it's going to be so weird trying to do everything. So let us move our players over so they can see the map for roll 20, unless they're just going through the shared screen. So from here, people, what are we looking at? Now, if I'm not mistaken, you, are, you have clicked on the screen, Scott, so everyone can see the screen uh, uh, yes. as the biggest part of the map. Uh, Excellent. Yes, it's a big I, forest. So what you're saying yeah, is, I don't trees. have to do that. Mm -hmm. Amazing. <laughs> so I will start to come oh, out okay. of this uh, at this point. Yep, I will go on full oh, screen. I will come out of that. And I will just click on me. No, I don't want to go on me because that doesn't look good. Haha. -ha. So... Where is everyone standing? So, if I'm not mistaken, we'll have Gaz over here because Gaz is, uh, sir, not appearing in this stream this evening. Oh, yeah. He went for a quick way. I can see. Um, he Gaz went out to the and he currently has no internet and will be yes. back if, up as soon as he can. If he is watching us on the Twitch, you could join in the Discord with his phone. This is true. Could control his character. So we will. Um, oh, I we will... can make him do the whole thing through text. Oh no! <laughs> that would take forever. We aren't back in the nineties doing forum D and D. So if um, does is everybody in roll twenty at this point? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Now, so this is the way I seen how the characters were set up in general for the eventual arrival of. The gorilla as it was approaching. Uh, like I say, Ronan and Ralph had noticed first that the gorilla in the distance had started to run towards them. Uh, this is why I've said they've stepped forward. Uh, we have Melgrim just here. We have the monk just here. We also have Daphne on the other side. While well, we have Sir Janice taking up the right flank. Is this okay. okay and agreeable for you? If not, if you are able to move your characters, that's fine. If you can't, let me know and I will move the characters as best as I can. I'm good with being there. Yeah, good with being there. Fine by me. Uh, um, I'm yeah. fine. It's, um, I've got a nice uh, human or turtle shield in front of me. Yes, <laughs> oh, this is where I. The sacrifice Milgram is willing to make. So let us move. Do not worry, Milgram. I will protect what? your weak body. Ah, <laughs> you do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, we have a canopy gorilla. He's a bigger boy. He will be appearing soon enough with his run. However, we also seen a couple of cheeky monkeys. Cheeky monkeys. Monkeys. Yep. Cheeky monkeys. Not you're a gorilla. We don't want you. We'll have you. They look very cute because it's the only things I could find. <laughs> <laughs> So from here, dun, 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 dun. I'm sure they're Let's very, very turn order. cute. If we're doing turn orders, if we're rolling initiative, please, for the love of God, click on your character first before you roll initiative, so that the turn order goes straight on to the turn order. So uh, roll Gaz is guys. watching on uh, on his phone, guys. So amazing. Uh, Sorry, um, that was. Where am I? I accidentally did that twice there. Well, like you know, was... <laughs> oh, sorry, I'll change it. Um, okay. do, do, do. I forget how to do this. Yeah. Click on your how card do do and then click on the 
initiative. Ah, initiative. Got it. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, it was right in front of me the whole time. Ooh. Yeah, there's a thing called initiative that we do all it's the time. Been well, really? It's been done combat, okay? Hello, Mr. Really? Purple. I've really wasted a nat 20 on this. Great. I love it. Ash uh, got a 10. No pressure on you, Richard, but we've got more viewers than we've ever had before. Oh, hi! Oh, we, uh, we had 26 one time, if you remember. Yeah, how but that many... was for like two minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yes, how many, how many are we talking? We'll see how long we can viewers. keep people interested. 19, hi 19 it's viewers. It's dropped what to 17 show? already. The second you said that, it <laughs> Hi 17 you viewers, scared... welcome to the show. We just, ident we just identified the two introverts. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> This is a good okay. point. Probably shouldn't have done that. Right. So I know. I my initiative didn't connect to the thing. I'm sorry. Do you want me to I roll it again? I am definitely not surprised. Did you, did you not worry. click you on your you got, an, you got a nat 20 on your initiative. I will put that in. I will do that. <laughs> Don't worry. There are a lot of high rolls there, actually. Yep. And we are going to do... And then there was mine. <laughs> and then you... Yes. I mean, it's you got the whole thing. Nine. No comment. <laughs> Look at the difference. That's mad. Oh, um, young Logan is also in chat now. Logan. Right, so we have. Oh, so the gorilla's going to actually go first. Is he better twenty-one? He got a twenty. Yeah, he got a twenty-two. He rolled a natural. He rolled a nat nineteen. Uh, funnily I, enough, it's on. It's on the thing that we can see. That I can't call it. I can't remember the um, name of it. We will roll twenty. Twenty-two. Yep, and the monkeys. Monkeys. Hey, hey, they're the monkeys. The people say the Please monkeys. Stop. This monkey is where we got the name of the. Yeah, I, we've just been uh, hit by a, a cease and desist order for singing an actual <laughs> song. Right, so we'll do this and we'll do this. I can't not sing. If something associates with a song, I'm like, ah, yes, I know that song. Totally get it. I will add Daphne now. She got a 20 because she has no pluses to her initiative, which is so strange. And we'll do this. We will move them into the order. Has, uh... You made my character, so... <laughs> who has... This is true. Who has the highest dexterity modifier mm. between Melgrim and Daphne? Melgrim. Uh, yeah, yeah. Twitch. Uh -huh. I've got zero. <laughs> nice. uh, mine does not zero before I even look at it. <laughs> yeah. uh... I'll tell you right now, I know the answer to this question. <laughs> it is Melgrim. And mine's a plus two. <laughs> That is Ooh, look at you. <laughs> Mr. Not look a Zero. At, <laughs> look at me, the melee oh, class yeah, with a you. decent dexterity. <laughs> oh my shock. So <laughs> people as uh, Rachel disappears for a couple of minutes I, so I, she's reloading stuff. We will go straight to the canopy gorilla who will you know what? I'll do a double dash. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep. Russia. Hey guys, my um went down. That's fine. My Discord just went to fuck, and I could not see. I've just you're lost. running too much, is what you're doing, my dear. Don't worry. We will make sure that uh, you will die quickly, so you don't have to do much in this. Oh, thanks, Richard. Hey, Hello, listen, I care. Take care for my players. This is how I roll. So, <laughs> again, I can't see Twitch chat because I'm keeping up with everything here as well as uh, seeing my the reactions of my opponents. I mean my players. <gasps> However, um, Sly is asking whether it's a canopy gorilla or a gorilla with connect canopies. I'm going uh, with a campy gorilla. Yes, a campy canopy gorilla, <laughs> shall we say. It is a canopy. I'm going to murder you. The canopy. The humble the canopy. canopy. With a mm. hungle pork pie, but the pork pie could take it in a fight. There's a reference for you. Uh, <laughs> it's probably only Sly knows. Yeah, so that will be it. That will be its move. There will be no flaming poops thrown this turn. There's no flaming poops. Spoilers. Ralph, you're up with Melgrim on deck. Ralph, what are you doing, my friend? Uh, I will pick the monkey closest to me, which is this one. So these will be uh, to help you help out. They are 60 foot above you, but they will also be 5, 10, 15, 20 foot away from you. So you're talking about a total of 80 foot uh, difference. Uh, distance oh. for you, if you know what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. That is absolutely fine. What I will do in this situation then is I will... Uh, I've got 60 foot for my attack, so I will hold my attack of Sacred Flam to the 
enemy that gets closest to me. Not necessarily that one, but whatever enemy comes uh, in range fat, um, quickest. Move towards you. Yeah. Yeah. I get you. That is not a problem. Uh, are you doing anything else? You're moving? Uh, pff, there's no cover, is there? Uh, kind of, but it would be pretty much useless at this point trying to take keep track of all the cover. Yeah, in I'm fact, not going to bother. You know, um, that, actually, you know what? I will change that. Uh, yeah, see all the orange trees? They count as cover. So you can, if you're behind them, they will block line of sight and stuff. Okay, so if I 5, 10, so if I could move to like there, is it possible for me to get there? Yes, you are in cover. We'll say you're under half right, cover. I'll say, it, yeah, okay, I'm yeah. half cover and I'm holding it until an enemy gets within blasting distance. Sorted, that is amazing. Uh, we will now move on to the mighty Melgrim, Melgrim Stan, and then Daphne will follow up. Uh, Melgrim, what are you doing? Uh, Melgrim is going to use one of the superiority die um, oh, yep. to get his AC up a little bit. Uh, will this be for your, I think it's fancy footwork, isn't it? Yes. I'm yeah, going okay. to do some fancy footwork. And then sure. um, I am going to, um, if I can reach the tree the um, Ralph is it. Mm -hmm. uh, I will kind of like move up to there and I will shoot my bow at the big gorilla boy. Nice. So here's the thing with uh, that that particular superior uh, that battle maneuver. Um, it doesn't really doesn't really word it well how that should work. So for purposes of, of this, um, and I think I was in agreement with Sly Marbo as well when we had mm -hmm. this discussion uh, when the last time he tried it. We will go with yes, you can add uh, whatever your superior die is to your AC, but you have to use your full movement to keep it up. As in, you cannot stand still. As soon as oh, you stand still, I was, still, was under the impression yeah. I had to move every single yes. turn. Yes, this is well. It doesn't actually say that <laughs> when you read it. It's a case of it, no. It just says mm -hmm. it puts your AC up, and that's it. So from there, we'll say you have to keep moving your full movement. So I think you're twenty five, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, in a dwarf. So you need to. You must consistently move. All, all I'm going to do is dance between those two orange trees. That makes trees. sense. <laughs> yes, it makes sense. So you're moving towards our good friend Ralph. Uh, no, in fact, he's got to go to the tree that Ralph is not at. <laughs> so it'll be five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So we'll say twenty-five. Uh, so what? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. I'm trying to get this so mm -hmm. that you're just behind cover here. Yep. Um, yeah. And give me a shooty shoot. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> does he say? <laughs> no, certainly doesn't. That seven does not hit. Uh, as you. Uh. <laughs> I and should inform all everyone that's sure? standing for Melgrim. Uh, I roll terribly, so expect me to do lots of tactics. Not very much happening. Uh, Ralph <laughs> looks over and does this. <laughs> <laughs> so clap. You go, Melgrim. It's... You go. <laughs> I'll show you how it's all right. It's yep. all right. Cool. You just distract it whilst it's beating you to death. I'll get a nice clean shot. <laughs> yeah. So the the arrow goes wildly off as it as it just shoots past it. The gorilla doesn't even stop to think to even look at it, but it hears down at you with horrendous speed. Uh, if that is everything for you, Melgrom. Uh, yep. Um, that is fine. We will now move on to the lovely Daphne with Ronan on deck. Daphne, what are you doing, my dears? I start to pull up uh, your character sheet, so I... Uh, I use I the hunter's remember. mark on the closest gorilla. Closest gorilla to you, my dear, would be... Oh, it's either one of these two here, if you can see I've that. I've got up map. to 90 feet for this one. Yep, so, so yep, you're, you're definitely within range. So. That one. Which one here? That one, that is fine. We will put the hunter's mark on that one for you. That will help you hit at range. Where are you, you little bugger? No, oh, we'll get rid of that. It's so cute. Stop doing that. That's my own fault. I should know better. Oh, um, I forgot to mention it was, yeah, it, it was uh, two superiority die that was putting into the right. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. We will do. 
we'll do the lightning helix to say that's that's the one hunter marked. And we will make it red. There we go. Right. That is hunters marked. Uh anything else you want to be doing? You're gonna do your fancy <laughs> do your fancy thing? Yeah, I think <laughs> the same one. So that I can hurt it. I yeah, hurt it. So you're gonna do the, the unarmed attack from <laughs> distance. That's awesome, right? Do you want to ha do you wanna describe how you do this or do you want me to do it? It's up to you. Because now you know the kind of mechanics of it. So Yeah. So she's gonna stand feet shoulder width apart, arms come up, she's gonna Drag her arms across with such force that it's gonna knock it off its feet. Yeah, That's what ah, amazing. Do. So as you stand with the, with your shoulders with apart, and you grab you and just drag the insides of your braces across, you you feel the power and energy scraping from the friction start to fall into your hand. There's a big ball of energy, and you whoa, you throw it so far. If you would like to make me an unarmed attack, please. Oh. And add two to it because <laughs> I don't think I count your proficiency on this. Oh. What do you um, I, 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 I like that idea. Um, apparently the hype train is deciding that there's going to be gifted subs if it gets plus 10 to all my rolls and minus 10 to all of them. Well, <laughs> <I'll laughs> this, <laughs> this is interesting. This is interesting. We should take a vote on this, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm against got... what you just said there. They've um, got 12. Does yeah. that take up to 15? Uh, uh, 14. Yeah, that would take up to 14. Two. However, 14 does not hit as you throw uh, the thing and it just... <laughs> and just kind of moves past because the energy ball just goes off and into an arc. Uh, so use your bonus action and your action. You still can move if you wish. Um... How far can I move? Can I remember? You have a movement of 30 walking speed. Okay. Uh, go over here. Excuse me. Yep, you certainly can. That's no problem as you start to move up towards Melgrim. That is amazing. Ah, so, from there, is that everything you want to do, my dear? Yes. That is you done, my dear. Right, we will go on to the wonderful Ronan with Sir Janis de Grande up next. Ronan, what are you doing, my man? Well, I could play a chant. Are you play a nice wee chant? He's doing. We get copyright. We get copyright struck. I think the copyright is a fifty-year-old tune. I'll be playing. You say that. Anyways, just uh, play in the Final Fantasy VII theme with bagpipes. Then I'm going to notice this wee, wee monkey here as I cast Hunter's Mark on him and I'm going to shoot him with my bow. Go pew pew. That is fine, we'll do the Hunter's Mark for that as well. And here mm -hmm. we go. Give us a pew pew. I'm going to give you a pew pew right now. There we go. 19 hits, roll that damage. Thank nice. God. Damage. Someone hit, yay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. No, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. I'm going to break the heaven for that time. <laughs> oh, um, four piercing damage. Uh, I'm going to turn around to Malcolm and say, that's how you four, hit the mark. Uh, you get four piercing damage in that, but you also get a 1d6 on yeah. that as well for your hunter's mark. Yeah, one d six. I've just got, <laughs> I've just got <laughs> all the insults as soon as one of these monkeys get a hold of you. Why didn't you do that on the thing that grabbed your way? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, Melvin has one speed, doesn't he? And it is fuck you. <laughs> okay, okay, um. Right, just um, chest and giggles, Ronan. Right. Right. I'm saving for a moment. That's just getting naughty, by the way. Yeah, naughty. Oh, yeah, note it and then <laughs> make me a wisdom saving throw. You've got disadvantage on your next attack unless it's against milk. <laughs> <laughs> do I not, do I not I, get I, like, I uh, think I just learned vicious mockery out of class. <laughs> Oh, you can do damage. Yeah, I have cool. just witnessed the birth of a bard. <laughs> <laughs> that was right, brutal. Uh, 
<laughs> that was brutal. Scott's on a mission to see if he can turn chat against him. Yeah, I am just like, I'm just gonna be awful. I've got to be the worst person ever, and it's like, yay! I am noting that down. Everyone loves a cunt. Yeah. There are children watching this stream. <laughs> so I don't think Sally's taking to the next level of swears. Yes. We thought it was going to be Rachel, but it's Sally. Have, yeah, the whole uh, channel Sally, wasn't that have, bad. We have one of Lee's children watching the stream tonight. Uh, Sorry, Sally, I apologise to Lee's children. <laughs> he doesn't know what that word means. I've only <laughs> tell him. Well, probably Lee has <laughs> been shouting it in the mirror to himself as he's like putting on <laughs> yeah. his costume anyway. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. As he tries to slip <laughs> into his tight Spider-Man outfit. I was going to go with his butcher like one, but... Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, Ronan. So, yeah, yeah, the arrow hits true, but it does very little damage as a sword. Yeah. And breaks it and throws it back <laughs> at you. Oh, the, uh, the chat has oh, officially oh, turned on Melgrim. You oh. have your <laughs> I'm just going to turn to Melgrim and keep that what you said mentally for later on as I move over here to get me a little bit. To, to be fair, like, Melgrim has saved Ronan and Ronan's been nothing but a dick to him. You'll not be able to move into the tree, you would just say that's just for, uh, the orange of the thickness oh, of what the branch uh, the, of the trunks itself. However, Okay. Um, yeah, I think this is uh, the first uh, the first uh, noting of Melgrim being put in the Book of Grudges. Mm -hmm. He's a human ranger. Why he's got a Book of Grudges? <laughs> well, he got one specifically right because so, yeah. of this. Yeah, and we will call thick, it... But it's just Melgrim's name written yeah. the whole way through it. <laughs> yeah, oh, a note of everything that Melgrim yeah. has done. Uh, wrong June some way. <laughs> However, we will move on to Sir Janice de Grande with Nylon Deck. Sir Janice, what wonderful, amazing, bardish things will you be doing this turn? Well, the first thing that I'll be doing is between ourselves and the giant monkey, I would uh -huh. like to cast a second level cloud of daggers between us. So that as he comes towards us, if he tries to pull through. Uh -huh. um, no, I like Melgrim. Melgrim is, um, is, Melgrim is a bard in training. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it focused, but it says kill Melgrim. <laughs> Maybe put it up where you're sitting. So I'm sure Melgrim will kill this see. dragon thing yeah. with her own and he'll feel better. <laughs> yep. So and by you kill him, I mean cloud. Ronan will kill him and Melgrim will stand there <laughs> missing every time he rolls. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I hit, right? Yeah, so Cloud of Daggers. Du, 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 du. You oh. will cast Cloud of Daggers. Oh. That is no problem. Are you moving daggers, with the cloud of daggers? Because I can't remember correctly if it stays around you or if it stays in a particular area again. If I remember correctly, it just stays in the particular area. Am I right? Um, yeah, centered on a point you choose within range. Yep, so the fine. range I'd like to put it is effectively between us, um, where Ralph and Ronan are standing, and the the big monkey. So between that area, I do have a range of sixty feet, so I should be able to get it to there. Uh, run about here. Um, about ten feet back, I would say. Dun, dun. So about here. Yes. Yes. Oh, yep. That is fine. It is a five foot cube, which is fine. So I will mark that as a five foot cube. So if he gets any closer, he will have to make his way through that. Yes. I will move out. Oh, put this ton thing over here. Don't need that in now. Anyway. Dun, 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 dun. Draw shape. Toss. Boop. There we go. There is your cloud of daggers. That exact rhythm and that noise right there is how I cast that. That's how I decide that. That's how I summon daggers. <laughs> Cannon. <laughs> uh, that's Sorry, it's more action. like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you still have your action. Uh, you still have your bonus action and your movement, my friend. What are you going to do? Or do you um, want to stay put and? I'll stay in the spot that I am for now, but okay. I still have my bonus action, right? Yep. You have your bonus action. Excellent. In which case, I will 
Um, just so that we can actually feel he has a chance and for a little bit of pity as well, I'd like to cast Bard Inspiration on Milgram. Yay! And I will just sing to him, please, please kill the monkeys. Don't let them monkey around. <laughs> and, 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 Mel, and Milgram will accept this magic. <laughs> uh, well, you have a 1d8 that can be used for the next 10 minutes, mm. uh, and it can be used... And I definitely check, didn't get my powers from necromancy, through. Milgram, not at all. <laughs> yeah, this is true. So you can, you can use a d8 on a, an ability check, an attack roll, or a saving throw of your choice, but you've got it for I the next 10 minutes. I will probably need it for the combat. saving throw that's going to happen very soon. As soon as I decide I'm going to chip the monkey. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you make it sound as if that decision has already been made. <laughs> it has been made. It was made as soon as it ran it. Is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Uh, right, we shall move on to the lovely Nyla with the canopy monkeys next. Nyla, what is your human monk doing? Okay, she is going to move to this little monkey right here. Right, they are currently 60 feet up, so you won't be within its melee range. Mother of shit. Yes. Oh, do, do crazy monk ship clean up, yeah, if you want. I don't have enough. Actually, uh, I can use Step of the Wind. Mm -hmm. And you start punching that monkey in the face. Do you think, yeah, I'm going to use Step of the Wind um, cool. to get all the way up. So it's... Amazing. So you get all the way up. That is fine. And then what do you do from there? Um, I'm going to punch him in the face. Yeah, you do. Pop, pop. I am going to use... Bob, Bob. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to do Flurry of Blows. Yep, okay. Right. Uh, um, first off, because of the type of tree, just to see if you do manage to actually get up there in your full turn, even though you've got all the movement in the world, just make us an... Uh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, make us a acrobatics or an athletics check of your choice, just to get up there. Oh, boy. The Thank God you, you said... Acrobatics. Uh, acrobatics. 15? <laughs> Yeah, you you get no disadvantage to your attacks on that. So, just to see how far you got up. So, <laughs> you turn around, it's and it just looks right at you. You go pop pop. Give us a couple of pop pops. Okay, dokie. Okay. Um, one second. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Just misses. Oh, mother of fuck. <laughs> Straight in the air bombs. <laughs> Who can yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, I'll take that back. I do swear. Uh... <laughs> really? Uh, you have, a, you have, have a I got one more attack? attack? You do have two yeah. attacks, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to attempt to hit him again, because, you know, why not? Um, yeah. 22. That definitely hits. Go and roll your damage. Um, nine. 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 Nice. So we will take that and we'll go down to this particular number that you just can't know. Yeah. So as you. And then you I'm just going to stick my middle finger up at it. Yeah. So you I can't throw do the that. Left. I've got nothing. Like, <laughs> so you throw the left just to get kind of gauge what it's like, what it is in combat. It's just it's your quick jab and it's <laughs> moves out the way and slaps it away, but then you catch it with the right and it's. It just starts holding its mouth. A bit of blood comes out. Um, yeah, then you go. Bah! <laughs> I absolutely ruin it. But yeah, that uh, that monkey's that monkey is pissed. Uh, anything else you want to just stay it's... there or? Run up to its turn. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna stay. Fantastic. So we will go to a monkey numero uno, which happens to be this one here. So. Oh, that I am still on that. I shouldn't have done that. So select pan and move. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. So whoppa, big jump. Pop. That's cool. Is that moving to range with me? 
That certainly did, if you want to cast your Sacred Flame. Uh, just give me a dexterity saving throw. Uh, nice. Dexterity or wisdom? Hold on, I'm pretty sure it's dexterity. Uh, yep, it is. Yep, dex, dexterity saving throw of 15 to beat. 15 to beat. Fail, 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 fail. Yep, definitely fails. If you want to roll your damage. It is 2d8. Uh, hey, you stupid monkey. Nine, nine, nine. Uh, do, 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 do. So that is a. Nope, that is. I'm wrong. I've done your two hit points. But yeah, pop, pop. It goes down as as he, as it, as the flame operates as it jumps down towards, and we'll start to grapple with our good friend Ronan. Well, hit goes to hit Ronan is what I say. Uh, does he five hit? Yes. <laughs> no. I didn't think so. Yes. No. As it starts to jump on you and slap. Can I give my butt. inspiration to that monkey? <laughs> <laughs> Not generally how it works, but you know, I'll allow it. No. Uh, so yeah, so it's it jumps on you and it's just starts slapping at you. Go, ah, fucking thing. As it's uh, it kind of counts as currently grappled with you, but you know it's not going to do much. It's it's not hurting you. It's not doing anything. You can still take actions as normal. It's it's li literally like a little capuchin monkey. So these uh, so it's. Well, what I see is I put my hand up and it's he's grabbing my hand. He's tapping my hand like oh, yeah. Oh yeah, these are yeah these are these are adorable. You're gonna love <laughs> this. <laughs> riddled with disease. Yeah. As a caveat, saying, <laughs> my no kind of monkey. Harmed. Just saying, no monkeys were harmed. Yeah, no, no monkeys animals were harmed. Were harmed. In the Nothing has been harmed. Yeah. Uh, we'll go to monkey two. Why not? It does exactly the same with Melgrim. Oh. And Melgrim dies. <laughs> <laughs> Melgrim's only weakness. Everyone stops monkeys. watching. Does an eight hit? Uh, no. And I no, am so going again. to report them. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. If you want to use your your I thanks, I suddenly can't place that monkey. roll for damage. Did nineteen hit? Uh, yep, 19 definitely hits if you want to roll for damage. It hits on friend. 17, guys. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Take that, monkey. Well, I roll. <laughs> yep, give us a minute. I am stuck because everything comes up and it's not <laughs> stuck. That, that is not bad damage. <laughs> Sly, uh, is it Marcel the monkey from Friends or is Marcel the monkey from... Um... Monkey Friends, friends, yes. Friends, right? Yeah. Do you remember yeah. if it was Friends or whether it was the monkey from uh, Night of the Museum? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, See, it's the same type that of monkey, monkey really. Cool, but it's but up here, albinos. Yeah. So, yeah, as it Did comes down... Did that monkey down, have a name? I bet. Probably. So, Basically, just so, 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 because of the repost, this one doesn't actually grab, but it uh, managed to grapple you, even though grapple wouldn't do much, as it comes and it's... And it just falls onto its floor, kind of flips back up and starts to grab at your leg. The third one will grab at our good friend, the human monk. Uh, the monkey oh, from the museum uh, was called Dexter in the movie. That's right. Dexter, it that's was. it. Yeah, that one doesn't do much, but it grapples on you yeah, anyway. So it just starts hitting you. So, it is by the same Marcel, which I think the that's them. the capuchin monkey for friends, isn't it? That's what we're just saying, mm. yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, yeah it's just... Just hitting at you, clawing at you. It's not doing much as you're just kind of dodging. It does get to you at some points, but doesn't do much at all. Sorry, I should have moved on to the third one there. And then we get to the big lad. Bam, 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 bam. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pop, pop, pop. Uh, right, before we take its next move, it will take the damage of moving through your cloud of daggers. Naturally, let me roll that for you. Cloud of daggers, which is boom, boom, boom. The first time, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so just roll the four d four. 
That boil takes a 13. Nice. Yep, certainly does. It was a good roll. Uh, so, bum, 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 bum. we'll take 13. Down to that. Yep, so as it does that, it's, it just runs through. It's daggers cut through, but it's, it's a couple of scratches, but it doesn't seem to have phased it any. And then it will take one of its first legendary actions. Wait, what? <laughs> um, Did you not think this was a boss? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does take up four squares, so. <laughs> oh no! It's just this legendary action on Melgrim, not Ralph! <laughs> to be fair, dun, dun, dun. it technically couldn't really see uh, our good friend Ralph. Oh, That's good night! Bye. 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 Bye! Bye, Logan! Tell, you, tell your son you love him, Lee. I tell him every day. Tell him, tell him in front of all the people so that they know we are a nice I love family. You, Logan. Good. There we go. See, we're a nice family, wholesome, friendly channel in Sanity Check Game. Uh, who fiction, love our children. Yes. Anyhow, I, I will take the assumption that I cannot use. In fact, I know I can because I already used my reaction. <laughs> yes. Uh, so even if uh, I wasn't even sure do... I could even get to legendary, even if I didn't. Yep. Uh, Why we don't we do get that... legendary actions? Because we're not <laughs> Listen, wait till Dean uh, Dean D one starts to really pull out. You probably end up well getting <laughs> legendary get action. The well. way it's gone, uh, the DM will only have legendary action. Yeah, exactly. be the players. Go. <laughs> With that, uh, it will do use its legendary action to do its berserker charge as it runs up forward and it does a big swipe to our good friend Daphne. Does a twenty three oh, no. hit? Yes. You will take two damage. One. Uh, What's that? It's healing you. You see. Oh. Hey. <laughs> you will take fourteen points of bludgeoning damage as it just brings its right hand as fist to some sort of kind of like pimp slap and just boom, oh, just bats you back. I also need you to make a strength saving throw for me, please. No, I tree. Oh my goodness. Unfortunately, that does not beat its uh, beat its target number. You will go flying back twenty feet. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, we'll see around about here. Shit. Pop. And you will take an extra... Uh, you will take an extra three points of bludgeoning damage as you land straight on your back and roll across the canopy, hitting various uh, pointed branches and brambles and stuff as you just roll so you're current uh, you're considered prone right now so you're on your back so you would need to use half your speed to basically stand yourself up uh, super suit wing the skill <laughs> yep and it will then take its two attacks against our good friend Melgrim okay new plan focus on the big one <laughs> <laughs> or get rid of the wee one and we all gank the big one <laughs> and we pick up the little one and throw it at the big one <laughs> oh that's a nat 20 on the first one oh, oh, God. Dear God. oh, oh shit dear God. Oh, fuck. it's official I do swear as much as, I, as it, you guys so say so as it backhands uh, Daphne well out the way it just rears up with its hand and, <laughs> and just brings it right onto your forehead Actually, gets advantage on them as well because you're technically well, you're, you're doing like a double crit. Like, what are you expecting here? No, you still no, got the other uh, attack. I missed with the other one. I missed with the other right. one. Oh, well, okay, much a roll for the second point. point. Yeah, I should do that. And one. I'm so, um, technically um, 20... surrounded. Hmm? So, yeah, 24 hits. Uh, yeah, so part 24 of the, tw hit. the, tw the crit hit. 22 doesn't yeah. hit because I'm in half cover and I've got my boost in the AP. 24. <laughs> or 24. Yeah, so does that hit? Hey, <laughs> cool. Awesome. So yeah, and it comes in a boom and just hits you again. You will take 
Somehow well, this is Ralph's fault. Yeah. I totally oh, did this. Wait a minute, how much does half cover give you again? Plus two. Plus I, two mate. I thought it was plus two, I was just making sure. Because I was very close to being it. <laughs> So you will take on the <laughs> one that didn't crit first. You will take seven points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And then on the crit. Uh, Sly, just so you know, if Meldrum dies, Ralph is going to cut off his head and once a week he's going <laughs> to cast uh, Speak with Dead and be like, ha 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 ha. ha, ha, ha. Uh, you will take do, 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 12 plus the 5, 17, 17 points of bludgeoning damage on top of that as well as you're, boom, you're pounded into the ground. Of this angry, angry ape. Just pounded into the iron tree like a nail. <laughs> I'm just imagining like me bouncing back <laughs> up every time he like clubs me to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep. And that will be the gorilla's turn. We will go straight on to well, we're at the top of the round technically because the gorilla won the mm. initiative order. We will move on to Ralph, and then Ralph will follow up by Melgram. Ralph, what are you doing, my friend? <laughs> uh, right, I am going to move out of cover and go on the other side of the little monkey to give uh, Ronin uh, yeah. advantage. Uh, then, seeing Melgram getting pounded into the ground, I'm going to <laughs> chuckle to myself, and then I'm going to go Relay, please. Um, I don't mean to be a dick. You just did something there. What? You moved out of the reach of the boss. No, he didn't. Oh, was he? Was he? Yeah, yeah, he was. He was five. Yeah, he was out within five foot. And you do mean to be the dick. You don't like Ralph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, let's just be honest here. I think that Ralph should be inspired due to seeing Melgum get pounded like this. I'm gonna like kind of like think to myself. It's like as in, yeah, Ralph seems to be struggling with one of these tiny ones, and I seem to have this large one distracted. <laughs> yeah, he he's struggling with Malcolm. one little one, and I'm dealing with a little one and a big one. <laughs> right. While Melgrim is deluding himself into what's happening here, uh, Ralph is going to say, Sweet lady, get me in this and let me help my friend. And a guiding bolt Quintance. into the back of the big monkey. Um, yeah, my, my treasure acquaintance. Uh, and I'm going to... How I roll to resist that? You're doing guidance, did you say? No, I did not. I said I'm doing guiding bolt. You're doing guiding All right, bolt. Sorry. Like, <laughs> well, you're going to get you're going to get the disadvantage in that if you're helping out Melgrim, because I don't think you can bring yourself to do that. I am not helping. I am shooting the thing that's clearly killing somebody. Also, it hit Daphne, who I am friends with. <laughs> Okay, then I'll allow it. Which would supersede. Of course, uh, it would matter. I'll allow it, I guess. Yeah, I'll allow it. Oh, okay, the brevity of saving the party. Hey, well, I'm only if I hit, though. Um, 19. Who would take Daphne's suit if she died? I would. No one can wear it. <laughs> no, just no one's the same height as you. I could yeah, not sure we'll it. I, I just need it for the light. Nice. Yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, 19 hits, yeah. Yeah, uh, Ali, I'll just take the armor and 17 damage. Yeah. And the monkey starts to glow, giving Melgum advantage if he chooses to punch it in the face. This is only if he goes, I refuse that, covers his eyes. <laughs> 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 you, you see it start Melgum glowing, and you think you can the advantage the that I gave you. I, yeah. I, I'll go, why don't you wait, Mr. Ape, until that glows off so as we can fight yeah. fairly. <laughs> so, as you throw the, as you operate the, gl the guiding bolt and throw it, as it brings up its, its two fists to pound back onto Melgrim, you hit it on its back and it rears back and roars. <laughs> and it just looks right at you with its bright red eyes. Um, yeah, Melgrim's <laughs> stares back, not Melgrim, I'm not Melgrim, he's Melgrim. Ralph yeah. says, man, goes, well, if you want to go, let's go. I'll kill him first. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yep, that was uh, that was your movement. That was also your action, I believe, as Gain Bolt, right? Uh, I've got a bonus, but yeah, I ain't done nothing I can use a bonus with. So, as a bonus, I'd say my thing that I just said and then 
a bottle yep. of hammer, a little ineffective hammer yep. that I never oh, use. That is fine. We then we will move straight on to Melgrim of Daphne on deck. Melgrim, my friend, what would Enjoy you like your to do? Enjoy your advantage, Melgrim. Uh, Melgrim is going to take advantage and do a pushing strike to shove that oh. big boy into the daggers. <laughs> Uh, you're going Ralph to do a is annoying, but it's very clever. <laughs> right. It's technically not. Nothing is impossible. But this is a big, huge fucking gorilla. This is the. Uh... Yeah, I'm doing. I'm dwarf. doing it with my fighting, so it's like more of a hit to knock him back. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Imagine, is like, this the your monkey, like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So is this one of your support? Well, it is obviously your call at the end of the day. Yeah, so, yeah, superiority dice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could do, uh, that's that's what it's there for. So yeah, let's do this. Yeah. So, and, uh... so. Punch him in his monkey balls, Melgrim. Right, and let's see if I crit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not really good. <laughs> yeah, I didn't crit. I was one off it. Uh, yep, okay. So Eventually that'll that. be a crit. So they take oh, yeah, seven damage. damage from me. <laughs> and then your D8 support of dice, is it? D8 or D10 now? Uh, it's D8. D8, okay. So then you do your eight damage, and then I'll need to look, look up to see what you do on the... Do you technically shove them out of your uh, area of attack, giving yourself a chance to no, strike No, I don't him. get a chance <laughs> to strike him again, but it does knock him. Mm. So my yeah, aim okay. is to get him into those cloud of daggers again. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, have you done your superiority roll? Oh, um, because yeah. this was for combat, I was assuming it was off. In fact, I should do that. 4d8, isn't it? Uh, it's, yeah, yeah, you, it's, it is your d8s, as you do, but it's, it's just the one d8 you're rolling if you use your superiority to die for it, but you've already used two, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So I'm running out, but it's a giant fucking eight that's <laughs> Nearly I took me out in the first hit. <laughs> right, uh, let's see your traits. There's a bonus action as well in it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Maneuver, repose, parry, evasive footwork. Uh, shove attack. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is there no a shove attack thing? I'm sure. Uh, uh, certainly, da, 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 you've got repost, parry, and evasive footwork. Ah, damn it! I don't have the budget bag. Ah! You yeah, can just oh, do the shove attack I as a, I took the that's, a, that's a standard attack. No, um, it's a superior for the superiority one. It's a specific thing to do the hit. Alright. Oh, no. So you, you hit anyway. Oh, uh, I think you also get a, you also get another attack. Uh, oh. to hit with. So because you know two attacks, being a fighter. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, with my second attack, uh, oh, I would be a disadvantage to actually shove him. Uh, yeah, well, we'd say it would be a strength check, but you've definitely got disadvantage on that, be him being a larger creature. Mm, but then he's also glowing, and I do have that inspiration. Ah, fuck it, I'm going to try. I'm going to, I'm going to fucking strength check it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mel, come on, Mel, come so right. give us your give us your worst. He did also turn his back on you to look at me. Um, so, you know. so what is it after all? Is it athletics or strength or strength saving? I don't know what one it is today. Uh, just go with... Do you want to do athletics? I would rather Yeah, let's do, do athletics. Oh, yep. my God. And you get disadvantage on that. Yeah. But I'm going to take my inspiration to knock the disadvantage off. <laughs> Fair enough. This is where they oh, oh. 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 Yep. So, uh, yeah, so you're boom, but you're shoving and you're and it just, just throws off the shove. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you give it a damn good try, though. It was, uh, it, you would almost certain that it looks at you in a kind of almost impressed way if you weren't not looking for that. <laughs> but you'll never um, know. And, um, <laughs> yeah, since, um, since I need to do it. I'm yeah, going I was to, gonna say. I'm going to do my movement around the giant ape, which obviously has got to provoke the attack for the little one, which I'm assuming gets advantage as well. <laughs> uh huh. Um, it's mainly just got to be dancing around the big ape to try and, like, I'll probably move to the. Well, there. You have to move out of contact. Yeah, because I, I want to keep that. Without the gorillas, 
yeah, one, two, three, Aye. four, five. But That'll I do you still there. provoke that other you one. You will and provoke attack advantage here. So before <laughs> we get to that, you will move here and then bum. So you'll get to there at least, and then we'll see. Hopefully. <laughs> Got you ready action to repost it. <laughs> uh, this is a different uh -huh. role because this has a different kind of reaction attack, mm -hmm. and this is going to be pretty cool. <laughs> is a fourteen hit? Uh, no, no. Okay, so uh, as you can, ah! <laughs> and starts to claw at you. Uh, so that was one, two, three, four, five. Boom. So you're now there. That is fine. That'll keep mm -hmm. your. That will keep uh -huh. your uh, fan evasive footwork up, mm -hmm. and that will be you. Daphne, my dear, it's you with Ronan on deck. Okay. Um, you, so on Daphne's sheet thing, she's got channel... Uh, Divinity. 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 Yeah. yeah huh? um, can I use that on the monkey that's closest to me? The lightning bolt thing. Uh, the one that... Uh, ooh. See, you're quite a distance away because you're still it's technically you're 10 feet away from it then 60 foot up so you're talking about 70 foot away so if you're talking about doing it uh, so i've got 60 thing, feet okay yeah so you would be you would be 10 foot short basically okay but your channel divinity is something different uh you could choose one creature you have to make a save and throw yeah so you're about you're you're definitely out of range of that good okay uh... And you will also need to stand up because you're currently lying prone. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we'll say so... you've half half your movement, so you've got fifteen foot of movement now because you've got fifteen foot to pick yourself up. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to be pissed the fact that this thing's just like flung me across. Do you say like a fly? Yeah. 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 So I'm literally going to use my wings to push me up off the floor, and then I'm going to use. My misty step. Nice. Okay. Oh. Go up to the monkey. Mm -hmm. to, the, to the one with the lightning bolt thing on his head. Above you, yep, with the hunter's yeah. brain. Yep. Yeah. Hey. And then I'm. Uh, am I still able to use a spell? Uh, your misty step. I'll check that. It was misty, uh, misty step. You got misty step as a spell. Yeah, you do. It is a second level spell, so that is you. Boom. Yep, for Misty Step. Uh, so that would be an action to use that spell. I'm pretty sure. No, actually, let's check. Is that. it a bonus, bonus action? action? No, it takes a bonus no, but... action. Misty Step's bonus action. So, yep, you have your action left. You can attack for sure. So then I'm going to go all out because I'm like fucking pissed off. I'm going to use my, my yep. arm things again. So you I'm literally again. like. All in one thing, I'm gonna st like fling myself up with the wings. Yep. Almost like teleport to behind this thing and instantly just go fuck you. <laughs> like pull nice. my arms so, across. The I'm just nice. gonna be so, like ah. Yeah. So you get yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna make the same reaction as the monkey. Your wings fly out. Your glow starts to glow a bit, a bit, a bit brighter. As feathers kind of fly everywhere, and it's you jump up into the air with your wings. I don't even think you would need to use Misty Step, to be fair. I'll need to check that. I'm just what I was checking on the now there. Just because... like the name of it, Misty Step. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, would be saving it. it would be saving a spell. Mm -hmm. uh... Yeah. Yep. Da, 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 da. Yep. You... Da, 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 da. Well, that it causes fear would be because uh, it's your necrotic shroud, basically, just getting your wings out. Getting That's the so wings pretty. out. <laughs> Isn't it Necrotic Shroud in action? Uh, just checking that. Dun, 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 I think dun. it is. Uh, yeah, as an action. That would be an action to do that. So, you, yeah, I would say you would probably just stand up, do your do your misty step. We'll say that'll get you up there. And then you can attack, my dear. Okay. So, yep, so you get up and it's... You just poof, just appear from nowhere. Uh, where do you want to be? Do you want to be on the other side? So you're flanking it, or...? Uh, yes. Hell yeah, you do. Boom, there you go. You're right there. Uh, give me two attacks with advantage. Yes. How do I do it with advantage on the... Roll Just 20? roll twice. Yeah, you can roll twice. Yeah, it's usually easier. One hit. Uh, yep, 18 will hit, and you've got another attack. Oh. 
Roll again. Roll again because you get advantage. So. Punch that monkey. Yeah. Hey. Easy. Hey. So, <laughs> so not only do you do your six points of bludgeoning damages, you yeah, will do. You're going to hold our lands. <laughs> yeah, uh, yep, you are. Yeah, so you, as part of your armor features, <laughs> that was mint. <laughs> as, as, part, as part of your armor features, you get an extra one d eight damage uh, for each attack. So you've got, so you've done six bludgeoning damages so far. So if you roll me two d eight for your two hits, okay. Mm-hmm. Eight, eight. Eight, eight. Eight. Yeah. So you do six points of okay. bludgeoning damage, and you do ten points of uh, do, 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 I don't want to say holy damage. It's not holy damage. Radiant. Radiant damage. Radiant. That's the one. Yes. So that is uh, a sixteen points of damage on one. <laughs> this this little fucker looks hard. So as you come, as you come down hard on it, is absolute. Is it? You pop up and just. Rah! Bang, bang, and it's bang, bang, just blood far everywhere. It's matted white fur is covered in red, black blood, and it's just running down. It's like, eh, the it bards is, will sing songs of they we beat a monkey to death. Yeah, it is, yes, <laughs> it is. The bard, you mean, fun. not the bard. Yes. <laughs> it looks... I'm assuming he will share his song amongst other bards. Yeah. The song will if start. he doesn't die. <laughs> yeah, it looks absolutely <laughs> horrible. Uh, and then from there, we will go on to our good friend Ronan with Sir Janice on deck. Ronan, what are you up to, man? Come on, Ronan. Right is there something I didn't do? Like, at least be like, I have two, I have two attacks. Yeah, so don't worry if you forgot, you forgot. But hey, uh, you have two attacks. I just remember now, so first attack, I'm going to swing the monkey with my sword. Yeah, yeah. Chip, I don't want to tell you to play your class, but do you have access to Hunter's Mark? He does. Yes, he's already, 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 already used it. That's oh, that's, a, that's actually a good point. Just making, but making you can't sure, just man. it. Right, bef- yeah, before we go any further, uh, Daphne, you're hitting, some, you're hitting something with Hunter's Mark as well, so you, you could oh, actually yeah. you could actually kill this fucker. Oh, you do extra damage, damage yeah, don't you? Yeah, damage. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah uh, you do an extra d- 2d6 damage, so... There's a good kill chance it. you can Go on, kill, kill us it. outright. Kill that monkey! Yeah, so with the hunter's mark on top of us, boom, boom, you uppercut its head off. It's <laughs> it just, <laughs> That's the body falls to the floor. It is deceased. It is a ceases to be a parrot. <laughs> it was never a parrot. <laughs> this monkey what? is an ex parrot. <laughs> Yes, he is dead. Hello, Polly. It is an ex-monkey. It ceases to be. Can I pick the head up and throw it at the big monkey? We will say Adam. that you have the head, but you can't throw it yet. This will be your <laughs> next. This will be the next turn thing. I, I will also point out it's like uh, the Melgrim is trying very hard to keep the aggro of this ape on him. <laughs> Please oh, don't. Yes. <laughs> uh, we will now go on to I've Ronan. So Ronan, head, like... yes. Yeah, I got a nineteen. Nineteen uh, hits. Uh, you've uh, also got advantage on that. Advantage, mate, right? Yes. So yeah, you can roll again. Cool. Yeah, man, we're flanked. Yep, it's flanked. So just roll another. Just roll another d twenty. No, no one. No one. Yep. No one. Shame no as one. well. Uh, yep. So twenty three will definitely hit and roll again for your second attack. Uh, so sort of. Uh, hold on, please. Hey. And again. Again. In case you crap. Yeah, just in case you crap. Yeah, oh, both. Fuck. So uh, <laughs> on your. So on your two twenty threes, roll your damage, and we'll see you go for there. And Nine and six for fifteen piercing. That is not a bad thing. So yeah, as you pull out the sword, as you as you kind of sling this, sling your bow round quickly and deftly, you, you cut this thing into ribbons. It too goes down, is and it goes absolutely limp. It ceases yeah. to be another monkey. <laughs> and you. you, with your bonus action. I, with my bonus action, I am going to move my hunter's mark on the big friendly ape. 
The big friendly ape. This one here. Nice. That is probably a wise decision, my friend. As you hunter market. Nice. Let's be honest. We should go after the real threat now. The little monkey. <laughs> yes. Mel- <laughs> 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 we have a little one to go watch out for. <laughs> so are you moving? Yes, I am going to move to the other side of the 5, 10, 30, 20, 25. I'm going to move to the other side of here so I can, uh, with a line to there, yeah. That is not a bad decision. We Very are going to run away. Meldrum, keep the aggro. We'll hide. Oh, <laughs> Me- Me- Meldrum does have a plan, and it does Sir require Janice him being hit for his plan to work. So I will need to check something on you. Do, 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 do. But as you do, what will you be doing, my friend? I will be doing something incredibly stupid. That will be a great story to tell later. Um, mm-hmm. That gap between the big guy and the little guy, that little gap. That's roughly 25 feet from me, if I'm counting that right. What, this gap between this guy, you and this little guy here? Or this one? Um, no, but, um, yeah, that one. That one. Um, that gap's will... roughly about 20, 25 feet from me. You can certainly check that is 30 foot. 30 foot, okay. Um, I think you uh, do have 30 feet in movement. It's me that's got 25 because I'm a dwarf. Yeah, he's a big tall half <laughs> Well, luckily enough, I also, if I'm taking an attack action on my turn, my walking speed is increased by 10 feet. So mm-hmm. I'm going to be attacking. So since it's within 40, I'm more than within range. You certainly are. Um, I would like to... Um, I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm going to run... In between the two of them to attack the big guy. I have a plan. (laughs) That is a brave move. Okay. (laughs) That's a bold move. It's a bold move. It's more stupid. Only time will Is there a difference in a bard? (laughs) Yes. To be fair, he's got to get advantage on the big guy because he's surrounded. There's more confidence in which you do it with. (laughs) Bold, bold strategy, Cotton. Let's do this. I'm doing this again so everyone can hear. I'm, I'm waiting for someone to actually answer. Yeah, it's a bold strategy, Con. <laughs> yep, he's not answering. He's clearly lurking. Okay, mm-hmm. let's do this. <laughs> Excellent. So I'll be running between two oh, to there you go. Uh, attack with my sword. Zemi has responded. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't like that. Ah. He hates that. Well, it's not that so much he hates the film. He just hates it every time I bring it up in the Blood Bowl. <laughs> so you run in. Yes, <laughs> he Where, says. Do oh, you want me to move the character? I'll move him here, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, yeah. oh, geez, I've forgotten how to do that. Do, do, do. Okay, um, just, there we go. Uh, yes, there we go. Uh, Excellent. Yes, on the Y line there. The I might as well. advantage on you now as well, yeah? Never mind. Uh, yeah, but he I, has advantage I, on the big I, ape. I think that's his idea. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, no, I, I know what his idea is. I'm just saying that two of them, yeah, let's see what happens. Head goal, he knows the hey, danger. The monkey yes, have advantage on you. Don't worry, the plan has been considered, and if it works, it'll be amazing. If it doesn't, then you can all laugh. Oh, you, you've got a different plan. Everybody thinks you're going to attack Melee. I think you're doing something different. <laughs> are you, you're, you're are, you, than... are you doing a fucking James right now? <laughs> if you're going to do <laughs> You will I... see. <laughs> You will see. I'm going to be attacking with my sword, the big guy. I'm rolling just now. Do, do, do. Rapier, plus four. And that is... Do it. Please, please, please be good. 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 You got advantage. Uh, there's a 22. Yeah, roll again because you get advantage. Yeah. Ah, fantastic. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. Okay, excellent. So, since I am hitting, first of all, I will roll my attack. Bum, 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 bum. 1d8 plus 3 and also since you're um, since I have now landed my attack if a weapon attack hits using my ability slashing flourish I can expend one use of my bardic inspiration to deal extra damage um, for um, equal to the number I roll on the die to the target I hit and any creature within 5 feet of me and so I'm going to attack the big guy mm-hmm. yep. I'm going to roll one of my bardic die to add extra damage to him um yep. and to attack the monkey behind me as well. Yep, that's true. Your sword is gonna like ejaculate some kind of like uh, I, I just imagine they did the legend of Zelda spin. 
Effectively, yes. <laughs> it's a D8 for Bardic Inspiration, if memory serves. That is true at this point in time and level. Yep, it's 1D8. Excellent. I'm rolling that now. So I rolled a 10 for my first damage, oh, and you have got me got kidding me. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh my god, no way. <laughs> one. Oh, oh, it's a toothpick. Rather than ejaculating, <laughs> it came too soon. <laughs> so, someone's been Jeez, watching because we got to subscribe, but we didn't get a follow that time. Oh, <laughs> hey, we got subscribing on YouTube. Thank you for subscribing on YouTube if you've been watching. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so you're well, you duck under the gorilla as he sees you coming. Woof! You dodge and then you, as you do a quick flourish, you catch the monkey on behind you on the ear. <laughs> uh, it's like what was that yep as uh, it does you, you cut off a bit of its ear the top of its ear but the gorilla you, you hit it pretty beefy that was a I'll very good I'll have you hit. know I removed at least one whisker from its face oh yeah <laughs> certainly yeah, <laughs> you, you, yeah it was, it was, hey listen it was a good plan it was a good hit so yeah um, anything else anyone for asked you that's well, like, actually you that is definitely you Nyla very brave well done you're up it's the okay, first time this move um, has pulled off on third time of asking for Sir Janice de Grande in combat. <laughs> this is third Eventually. time of It got there. <laughs> you did a thing. Yeah, I was thinking it was going Can to do I... something like Thunderclap. <laughs> and I was like, he's going to do James. Yeah, and that's when you said that. That's what I thought he was going to do. I was like, oh, fuck me. <laughs> it okay. was actually working this that's scenario, though. Damn it. <laughs> so, Nyla. Can I jump out of the tree? Yeah, we'll see. You, you land fine. Bum, Without having to use my movement. Yeah. Pop. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the big bad guy who is trying to kill everyone. Oh, women are actually so five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty. Make us an acrobatics check or an athletics check, just to see if you go down to half movement. Twenty. Yeah, you're fine. So, boom, you, you land fine, bop, and you run off. Uh, Hello. Pom, um, you're t oh, technically not flying. But you know what? No, I'm I'm not. I don't have advantage, I don't think, do I? Because yeah. there's no one flanking. Yeah, because there's no one on the other side. Yeah, I get you. Don't worry about yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, cool. Pop, I'm pop, going to... Two rolls. Attack. Seventeen. Seventeen Die. hits. Yeah. And um, six damage. Yep. For six do I damage. get two attacks and then I can use the key point? You do get two attacks being a monk. I will yes, double that's check it. that. It's one yes, of the attacks would be flurry blows if you try to get the extra hits. Yeah. So you would need to do flurry of blows on this attack if you want the extra attacks. Okay, that's that's what I'll do. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, so that's a uh, twenty-three. Twenty-three hits. Four. Uh, do, 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 do. That's seven damage. Seven damage. That is a Come very on. good hit, and you get another attack with flurry of blows or another. Uh, from oh eating. shit! I just dropped my dice. Uh, eighteen. Is that not how you roll dice. Uh, yeah. uh, are you uh, funny? Yeah. 18... <laughs> you will think I am. <laughs> yeah, eighteen hits. Uh, so you get a uh, yeah, you get another attack. Uh, so that's really nine damage. So yep, uh, just reading on that. Flood of blows, maybe you have to take the action on your turn. You can spend one oh, to make two unarmed strikes as a bonus. Uh, you get another attack. So yep. He dies. So what was what was your last damage that you done? Just got headphones on. What, yeah, so what was your last damage you done there, Rach? Nine. 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 Why did you, uh, now I can't do that. It was you that started it. Yep. And <laughs> you get one more other attack. Tele it's from that other show that it's when from people watch. obscure TV show that nobody watches. Yeah, never heard of it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, you get another attack as well because you get two extra oh, attacks. Oh, shit. Uh, marking all these what, key points 18? and all this, guys. 18 hits, yep. Yeah, and um, I cannot roll my dice tonight. Uh, another nine damage. Oh, it looks pretty beat up here, folks. 
And then, can I use some more key points to do shit? I can, can't I? I think that's no, you. That is you. <laughs> You've done your action. Uh, You've I want to post. use 36 more key yeah. points to continue. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, you I'm might have a reaction later. Yeah. I don't know if you want to. I want to do some shit. That, no, but... you don't just want to do some shit. You want to do all the shit. But yeah, as yeah, you run basically. up, and bang, bang, putting in kicks, and it's absolute carnage as you're going, brrr, it's just under this flurry of blows of quick fists and feet. Uh, it's is looking rough. You're starting to break ribs and crack, not uh, and basically crack bone uh, with your hips. <laughs> yeah, it looks absolute rough. Yeah. So we well, this is to... easy. We're not curing the wounds of the gorilla. Thank you very one. much. <laughs> number one is dead. We got to number two. Number two is going to do something to our good friend. Number mm -hmm. Janice de Grande. Oh. He's going to experience the horror that Richard's been desperate to tell him. He's going to be... <laughs> and... It's nice she knowing the, you. Uh, the monkey would have done some more uh, legendary actions, but oh. it doesn't appear yeah. to have done any. He only gets so many legendary actions, so he kind of just spam he... them all out. He's only used one. He, yes, because he used one in the first round, but he's not used yep. So Janice de Grande does 14 Let's see got one. 14 does hit. No. 14 oh. hits you. Good. Yeah, you 14 does indeed. Oh, no. Oh, at last. Tiny little monkey is biting you. <laughs> you will take. I got monkey on my back. Yes, we've been all waiting to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I've I will take that four hit points of bludgeoning damage as it jumps on your back. And, and then I need oh, that to wasn't too bad. roll... Oh, yeah, no, it has like, uh, what is it? What does the monkeys have? Is it syphilis or something? Nah, you're fine. <laughs> so, uh, That's cool. I don't know. There's something no, else that you'll get as banned for Twitch if you say. <laughs> so, at this point, it is. Yep. Is it a game with an A? It's technically grappled, but you don't suffer the effects of grappled. Yeah, it's it's literally on your back, swiping at you, your face. It's, it's very sore. Uh, oh, this is really annoying. Please stop. I know, I wish I kind of pulled that off, unfortunately, but hey, what can you do? Uh, that one is dead, and then we go to the top of the round. So, I need to do another D roll D6. Oh, thank you. Because it's now been two times. Are people subscribing to us on YouTube? We appreciate Yeah, my friend Gary, although I call him Pete. It's a long story. Uh, yep, he gets, he gets the legendary action back he spent. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh which, shit, I'm there as well. Yep, which will. Uh, we're on this guy now. Sorry, we're just going to jump through. I thought I got to the gorilla. There we go. We will jump to. Uh, what am I going to do? Yep, he will spend his legendary action on Call of the Wild. So. As you're beating this thing up, and it's absolutely taking a pound, it's, it just goes. I need everybody to take a wisdom saving throw, please. And then. No! I'm... I am confused! I get advantage, I can advantage on that for Leonard Mark. No. Ah. I got a 15. Our perception. Got a 15, oh, 15. 21. 20, maybe. I get advantage. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a 15 so anyone that no didn't problem. beat 16 no. uh, they are now considered frightened and will have to get away from them and then I need to do am I of affected course. by oh. this you're nowhere uh, near it surely uh, no it's uh, everyone uh, everyone that has to roll uh, I'm just uh, that was a bad roll uh, do, 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 I, don't I don't think Daphne can be frightened. Yeah, I was Check. just thinking that. I don't think I can be. I read this somewhere. Uh, someone, so someone's <laughs> on a mute. It screams at you, and you just scream back. <laughs> <laughs> you might, you might have an advantage. You might have an advantage on it. Like you can be frightened. It doesn't say anything about not being frightened. I, just I know halflings get like some ability to help them not be, but it's like still difficult. Yeah. No, uh, you can be frightened, so you'll need to do a, a wisdom saving throw if you haven't already, Daphne. Yeah, I have. I got 15. Cool. Uh, you just fail then. Uh, so, yeah, so you're now considered frightened along with our good friend Ralph, I am Ronan, and. And um... That's it. <laughs> so, and uh, Nim. Uh, yeah. Nim. Who's Nim? No. Oh, shit, yeah. I mean, Nyla. 
I've oh swore again. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Old friend so, so Janice and Melgram, the only ones that are only shitting themselves better than nearly dead gorilla. Uh, <laughs> Effectively, yes. I can't uh, believe I just called myself Nim. I know. Currently Nim. frightened. The pebble. Oh. I just drone. The sweetest so name. You can't go any. Can't go any closer to the creature. In fact, you will have to probably get out of its range as well, being frightened now, those who are frightened. I thought oh, frightened meant that I could get closer to it. Or yeah, it just means you can't get closer. Yeah, you can get closer to it. That's the one. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So, uh, basically... I wonder, I wonder, I wonder I another, to make this not affect me, so it's okay. I hope no, there's other actually, ones. Actually, that's 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 Sally can't get any closer to it. Nyla, that works in your favour. So I was going to say... That doesn't make any difference with me because I'm already yeah. up there. I'm already away from the Yeah. However, I was yes. never sure if it was you had to take your action to move away from it. Like, <laughs> so, yeah. some, there, there is some like that, that do uh, that, but that's like a different thing. Uh, however, yeah, like it forces you to move away. Uh, from the scream, you will hear uh, just a big whoa. This is just here, and everything starts to rattle. Uh, f- from there, I will do another legendary action to do a swiping attack. Big sweeping swiping attack. I'll report. <laughs> uh, bomb. Does a 25 hit all who are within five in, uh, five feet of the creature? Yes. Yeah. Very much so. Awesome. Uh, a use will take. Uh, How far? Uh, oh, I didn't uh, need to move my creep. Not you, Sally. You're good. Oh, uh, okay. use will take. Uh, so that would be Melgrum, Nyla, and Sir Janice de Grande. You will take seven points of bludgeoning damage. And I need you to make a strength saving throw. Oh no, come on guys. Melgrim, you're fine. You take the hit square on the chin. <laughs> I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> 20. 20. Again, Nyla, you take it square in the chin, you don't. Um, so Janice de Grande, uh, yeah, you take it square in the chin as well. So he's boom, you just absolutely take this huge fist as he just backhands you. And a few, big, huge spin. Uh, do, 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 do. And I think I will start doling out attacks now. Uh, so Janice, he will take one of his attacks at you. He was plus six, one, eight, yep. Uh, does a 15 hit you, Sir Janice? Uh, would you call me out on my... Dead and... It does. <laughs> cool. I can. I could easily check to be fair, but I'm giving you the advantage here. So uh, it hits. It hits. Yeah. Uh, you will take oh, six points of bludgeoning damage as he absolutely whacks you in the face. And uh, what did I ever the, do to you? Nyla doing all the damage as well. It's not an issue. Not an issue at all whatsoever. Uh, does an eight hit you, Nyla? No. Nah. No. So whoa, he, abs- he just froze. A- the punch and it just woof, you managed to get out of the way of it, which is absolutely fine. Hmm. Just having a good work out today. You had advantage on the bard to the DM. Oh yeah, you did. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't really matter to be fair because oh, you crit. know what? I might crit. See if a crit though. <laughs> Guess whose fault that is. Not it's mine. Ralph's yeah. fault. Yeah, it's it's Ralph yeah, so six points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> So that is absolutely fine. Uh, da, 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 da. Actually, I did do that. Um, Let you've pissed him off. <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah, mind them with the rules. This is true. Hmm. Put to the rules. Didn't hmm. I do that on the first <laughs> game we ever, <laughs> had, be fair, I ever had with you? To be fair, we've all reminded them of the, like, each other of the rules, even if it is at our play fair always yeah. because. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Although we don't try and cheat. And plus, I'd have, got, I'd have gotten back no, up in the next round. It'd have been fine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes, we will 
we will end his turn. And at the end of the turn, there's a it's as quiet as can get as the, the gorilla starts to after his big roaring hit out. It's going, <laughs> and then you start to hear. You are making not making a sound, but I'm assuming you're your not. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is that the cream? I'm going nope. to imagine it's more monkeys. Queen. <laughs> cream. Oh. Oh, no, it's more monkeys for us. Uh, the Imagine call the of the wild the was the head to the name. <laughs> I'm sorry, the queen's come to tea. Oh, oh no. no. Like the tiger that came for tea. And six <laughs> more monkeys. China out. Uh, as you start to look around, you see six it's more really monkeys just swinging, right, swinging from vine to vine, from, trunk to, from branch to branch to tree to tree, as they start to descend upon your position. Uh, that was what, uh, as Melgrim has slightly deduced, that yes, the Call of the Wild was that, and I did get a six on that roll, so I'm going to have to add them to the turn order. Uh, I'll just add another three, because why the hell not? Because why the hell not, right, guys? <laughs> well, adding three more monkeys. So, so, are you so adding six? Wait, nine. Sure. What are you testing? So, right, there's three... There's three already on there, two of them are dead, one of them's no alive, face, so I'm gonna add, I should brain. add another four is what it is. Oh, right, I, I see add, what you're doing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should add another four. No. No. Oh. No. No. Oh. You're dead to me. I've left Actually, all my spell slots, no. We are different monkeys, so I should Is this also like the spider thing where advantage. I've rolled too high? Uh, it was plus... Oh, I need to look that up. I'm running away. Oh, there's plus one. Right? I mean, you can pop your wings and just leave at any point. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just so this new group will have a initiative that. of 17. <laughs> Shit. I really hope they're just minions, but I don't think they are. <laughs> they look minion I don't me. like you anymore, Richard. Concentrate on the big one. We can oh, no, minions is a thing. It's like, but it's before the edition, it's no one fighting. Oh, you mean like one hit point, guys? Yeah. <laughs> we can kill everything! I have the power uh, of a god! Yeah. I feel like Daphne's not strong enough for this type of battle. And she's like pretty strong. We've been doing pretty well, to be honest. Like, yeah. We've done really well, considering. Mm -hmm. I mean, it... Rich's attacks. I, I mean, the only like one that's beat right up is Melgrim. And yeah, there's a, there is a <laughs> lot of bullshittery up here in, uh, in this, uh, this kind of um, thing. There's the only two... will not kill Melgrim yet. There's, there's only two characters that have took significant damage, and that's me and you. <laughs> um, bum, bum, I've took so damage, but I haven't a new turn about, order. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but now uh, I need to I'll sleep, and there's nowhere safe to sleep. <laughs> to 17, and only one of them stays at 7, because... I'll Bruno find your hammock. <laughs> A big banana leaf. <laughs> <laughs> right, that is that turn. We will now go directly to the next turn of Ralph. Ralph, is what we're doing, my man. As you see, a, a swarm of monkeys just start descending from the trees and swinging towards us. I had an idea. However, things have changed. So, I, you know what? I'm going to stick to the original plan. I... Because I cannot attack with uh, I would be disadvantage to attack. However, uh, if I was to cast radiant bolt, uh, radiant uh, blast, whatever the hell it's called, mm -hmm. um, at the <laughs> you tell us. With... Secret flame. I always call it the wrong thing. Secret flame <laughs> uh, at the big monkey. Would it get advantage on it? Because I'm scared of it. That doesn't sound right. But I'll ask you anyway because you're the DM and it's your game. Good point. You are scared of it. Uh, I will say you don't get advantage on it. No, it, would it get advantage on the? I don't see why it would, but just it's just what's what straight next? Sacred same, flame. It's sacred flame, yeah. But it's no, no, it's like flame. Tank. Right, no, it's sacred flame. It would just be a normal sacred flame. I don't think you right. get advantage on it. Anyway, it it's just will, a straight up dexterity just save. Just in case you wanted to put some weird stuff in there. Uh, yeah, yeah, cool. Um, I will sacred flame the uh, big ass monkey. Okay. And then I'm going ass. to go and hide behind the tree. Yep, that is cool. Uh, twenty-one pass. It fucking passes by a country mile. Yeah, okay, so um, it operates, but it doesn't seem to be doing much as uh, it starts to breathe in and take its time. Going, uh, that is all I can do. My bonus actions aren't going to do anything. I was going to, if anyone was down, I would have healed them, but there's no point in giving somebody four hit points. So I hide behind a tree and go, oh, actually. Can you hide I in hide your shell? I hide in, I go in the, yeah, I do that. I go by the tree and I hide in my shell. Ah. 
Oh, lovely. Okay. Uh, you do know that would put you uh, at a disadvantage for any dexterity things whatsoever. Dexterity but increase yeah, it's AC goes up, My AC though. goes up to 21. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's not bad. I like how that works. Okay. Oh, Is that your turn? Is that your turn, Ralph? Yeah, yeah, that's all done. Melgrum, you are up. Daphne, right. you're on deck. Kill the monkey! I if we kill the big one, do the little ones go away? Ah. Uh, I'm well, at advantage on attacks right now, aren't I? Right now, yes, because you're in uh, flanking with uh, De Grandi. So for my first attack. <laughs> okay, you have. My first trick. <laughs> 11 damage for that. Um, oh. And my second attack. Um, roll again, roll again. Oh, no. It oh. doesn't hit. <laughs> it does not. That, that, is, no. that comes as a surprise to me. Uh, you should be like, you know how I roll. Like, I've had no, no. one that 20 in months. No, no, it does. I'll be honest <laughs> with you. It, it does come as a surprise to me considering it's AC. And yeah, okay, yeah, you you totally miss. Uh, and <laughs> I am also going to have to do all my manoeuvre things. And uh, now I am going to, to do something very risky. I mm. am going to circle around to here. And then I'm going to step out of its range and try and go here, whilst trying okay. to be like a dick pit and so spit in its go face. Round to, so go around to where you're going before you step out of its range. Because it's going to oh. attack you. Don't do it! Don't fall for it! Oh, it's going to attack me. I'm yeah. trying, but I have an idea. It's high risk. Richard, should I have rolled to save against being frightened at the end of my turn? Uh, you didn't move closer to it. You did actually move closer to it. You, so Because uh, you were hiding behind there. So you yeah, wouldn't but... have been able to move... Uh... Well, it's out of my line of sight now, because I had behind a tree. Oh, mm -hmm. fair enough. I that last count. Uh, yes, so you, get, get... you also get to roll the Wisdom Saving Throw to try and get rid of the, the Frightened. That's true. Good point. Well made. Yeah, crap. Yeah, totally yeah. pass. You're, I'm really you're... not frightened, you know. That would have been useful yeah, earlier, but never mind. Certainly not frightened anymore. <laughs> cool. Um, um, I'm not frightened. I'm not frightened. I'm not scared anymore. <laughs> So and then I am going to step out of its range. Nice. Go there. Uh, Obviously, my, my thing uh, now, because it's below half its hit points, will spend a legendary action on what I like to call what the fuck. Eating so, bananas. <laughs> I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw, please. You can do it. You can do it. Just you can do it, Milgram. We <laughs> should fucking head off. Should have said that. Yeah, it's, you, if it's you missing, have... I'm reposting. <laughs> so, as you start to go out, oh right, so ha, managed to get. It doesn't seem to swing for you. In fact, it's too busy with Nyla. It's backs to you, so you step out and go, huh, and then you start to step away again. And oh, then all of a sudden, as you turn round to, you feel something grab your leg. It's. <laughs> What the fuck? What's it? Your son grabs your leg as well and pulls you. Oh, fuck! You look back. There is flesh tentacles coming out of the back of this gorilla as it grabs your legs and starts to pull fuck? you in. And you see this huge I'm mouth like... where its ass is start to open. With <laughs> no! No! <laughs> as, it as, it to, as it starts to pull you in towards... <laughs> I do not mouth. consent! You are currently, you're currently grappled. Restrained and prone as you're being pulled in. Richard done trigger warnings every 15 seconds for spiders. However, fucking this. Like, <laughs> with tentacles, no mention of this whatsoever. Everybody loves gorillas, right? <laughs> Chat. <laughs> It's, this is straight up thing shit. If you've never seen the thing, mm -hmm. but yeah, so it's, it's, it's it starts to come in. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I I happily named this the what the fuck because mm -hmm. this, is, this is some spoilers or some like some body horror stuff. That was yeah. badass. Crazy <laughs> badass. But, uh, it was, it was Amazing. A, <laughs> there is a good reason as to why it's been done now because it's below half hit points and it starts to do a lot of kind of weird ass shit. Weird ass shit. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yep, so you're now currently being pulled into its range uh, as we speak. Uh, so you're now currently restrained, grappled, and you are currently prone as you're being pulled. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, at least I have done all my actions because that yeah. means I can't do anything on my attack if no one gets me out of this. <laughs> Daphne. Yes. Uh, you oh, are up. Melbourne, I'll save you. Um, luckily, no, you okay. can't see what's it's going fine. on. So <laughs> this, is, uh, this is something that's uh, totally un unrelated to you or new to you. <laughs> but you do see in the distance and hear the, the more capuchin monkeys start to swing into view and go, Rah! So can uh, am I still scared? Uh, yes, but you get to I'm scared. Uh, your turn. You get to roll a wisdom saving throw to get rid of it. So you can't move. You can currently cannot move closer to the big guy. Okay. You can move so sideways, though. So. Yeah, you can, can still move. Sideways. Mark, am I ninety feet away? Um, yeah, but you'll need to recast it because you didn't have yeah. uh, the. Ad- ah, you see when you you'll see you need to kind of do that. That's fine. Uh, okay. yep. So you want to do hunter's mark on the. Uh, big guy again. Yes, on the. There's already the hunter's mark on it from. Yeah, but ah, yes. Why not? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so we'll just say you and Ronan are both got the hunter's mark up. So that was your bonus action, my dear. Uh, what are you doing? Um. Well, I can't really do anything. I've lost all my spell slots, and I'm not close enough to actually hit it. Yeah. And I can't. But move you can drop down. You, you can drop down. You're you're currently in the tree. Um. So yeah, I'll drop back down onto the tree that the fallen yep. tree that we were okay. on. Uh, but yep. like, yeah, uh, well, you're on the canopy. Thing. You're on the canopy basically. So you were up that tree to get that uh, that little capuchin bastard. So so it's... right, you're down. Uh, could you make me uh, an athletics check or an acrobatics check, just for okay. the shits and giggles? So either or. Oh. Uh, you land, but you don't land too well. Your foot goes through the canopy, but you pull it back up. So you will see you can only you can only move half your movement. Basically, it's not not much. Okay. Um, and can I try? Yes, and try we need your help, guys. Tree or something. Yeah, guys, just sitting there going. Whoa. <laughs> What's he? It's oh. having a wee. Guys, Malcolm's about to be eaten by an ass. Save him. <laughs> Which is the opposite of what normally happens. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, he's watching, you know, I think. Mm-hmm. Or he should be, little bugger. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Better be. Just, just want to find somewhere to sort of mm-hmm. uh, hide, yeah, well, really. You can stay there because that that means you're out of view of it. Yeah. Uh, you're behind the trunk, uh, tree trunk, basically. Uh, is that all you're doing? Yes. Cool. Uh, roll me a wisdom saving throw. No. I refuse. You have to. To see if you drop the... Yep, you drop it, you're fine. Yay. So you're no longer frightened of this poor, poor gorilla who's been <laughs> set upon by yourselves. <sighs> that is, see if that is PCA is watching. I apologise. This is not how I wanted this to go. I wanted this to be a clean P- uh, TPK. But hey, they had to make it... They had to do this. They had to make it different, didn't they? So... They never go to plan. Leave us alone. Never, ever goes to plan. If they are space so, ace watching, we love animals very, very much. They are delicious. They're delicious. And my puppy <laughs> loves you. Pizza. I, I'm pretty sure Melgrim's not delicious. Can someone let the ape know? <laughs> the Melgrim is not delicious. Uh, I throw <laughs> barbecue sauce directly at them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah we'll go on to Roman, and then it's the the wave of capuchin monkeys. See that, see that uh, purple square thing? That's the uh, daggers, isn't it? Yes. Oh, um, you I... got hit. So, uh, so Grandy, you need to make me a concentration check. Okay. Oh, what do I need to roll for that? Constitution save. Get on that damage. Constitution save. We are forgetting yeah. that this if, uh, the spell smart. drops or holds. There's a lot of stuff we should... Actually, you know what? No, it drops. Don't worry about it. Oh. You would have had to let it drop to do the stuff you were doing, so don't worry. To be fair, it was a shite roll anyway. So. Yeah, it dropped. It drops anyway. Don't worry. So I was going it, hasn't affected the, it hasn't affected the game in a major way because no one has uh, none of the thing has moved through it since then, yeah. so don't worry about it. That was my bad. That was well, my fault. I can, I can still shoot it. Like, I'm scared of it. I keep an eye on everything that's on the now. But you can thanks shoot for all. You're at a disadvantage. But, yeah. Uh, so if I should have a disadvantage. But you do have yes. the hunter's mark on it. I don't know what yeah. that does. I can't remember. No, it just adds damage if you hit. All right. uh, you also know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what it is. Uh, you can never be hidden from you, so. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try and have a way. I see the see the, the, the branches that I'm surrounded. Does that, you know, that have the, the tree sap on it? Oh. Well, hmm. 
Ooh, Jim thinking things through. Oh. As, uh, I, I'd I'll like honest, to think this is to save Melbourne, but I doubt take, it. I will let you take the perception <laughs> check. However, it will cost you your reaction. Right, I'll do that then. Yeah, go do your, do your, uh, do your perception check. Here you go. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Hey. Come on. As you start to as you start to look around as you panic and go, fuck, we're gonna get surrounded. Do you see you right just one of the other sides? There does happen to be some uh, some of the tree sap leaking from one of the, the trunks. It's just slightly at your knee height. Okay, I'm gonna take my arrow and smear my arrow with it. And I want to try and hit um, hit one of these guys at the sides. I'll we'll say uh I'll, yeah, I'll say we'll give you uh I'll not be a D6, but I'll D4 acid damage on top of the arrow, right? right. On top of your hunter's mark, because your hunter mark's on Love it. Love it. Uh, yeah. at disadvantage. So I'm Am saying, I right? Well, I'm going to shoot that then, because I'm going to turn around and shoot something that I'm not going to get disadvantage on. Wait, yeah, it's just, just a, oh no, it's just a weird range, it doesn't matter. It was with, he is technically attacking for the other side, mm. but it has to be fully surrounded. I'm going to shoot the grill then at disadvantage, right? Okay. Uh, yep. So roll your longbow try. Two twenties, mate. That's what you need to do. Two twenties. Come on. Two twenties. You've missed already. Never mind. <laughs> no. <laughs> it actually hits. Two. Mm-hmm. Uh, second one misses. But yeah, you you hit with the first one. So roll your damage on the sixteen. Six. Six. Um, Boss. <laughs> How would you like to do this? Yeah. No way. So as I as I turn into the mouth ass. <laughs> as I turn yeah. into the, the stop, I take the bow and smear my bow with it. I just say, aim for the where the tensile's coming out and shoot right. Sphincter, yes, yes. The, yeah. the, the tooth is sphincter, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, right in you, the brown eye. Yeah. So as you look down, you go. It's winking at you. It. Winking at Mel, girl, finish it. <laughs> you pull an arrow from your quiver and just whoosh, fuck. You ram, you ram the arrow into the yeah, trunk. You just, yeah, you do. Get the ass acid and you start pointing down and you, <laughs> it flies round, passes just over Melgram's head by centimetres <laughs> as it boom, hits straight into the ass mouth that is the gaping maw as it starts to pull in with his meaty tentacles. Oh, it's from there, it just goes <laughs> and closes and you hear this you hear the gorilla scream uh, as it well, as it pierces where the spleen would be and just pushes through. He's a given not a from hey. there it's <laughs> and it falls. Um <laughs> Nyla make us a dexterity check. Save through. Oh, mother of come on. Dex. Do, 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 do. Uh, well done Excellent for it. Uh, uh, oh, that's yeah. it. Um, <laughs> 18. 18, yeah, you're fine. He's, it flops over and you, oh, fuck, and you move out. Oh, no, sorry, it's time. not 18. It's for, uh, 14. 14. Oh, in that case, oh, <laughs> as it falls on you, you think Timber. you're out the way, and then, it kind of, then it kind of takes a swing and then turns last minute and lands on its back on top of you. Ass mouth first. But don't worry. Oh, <laughs> leakage. I know leakage. Nice. As it falls on you, <laughs> you will take... Uh, <laughs> and Nyla is killed. The giant <laughs> monkey falls down and crushes her completely. Yes. Uh, you take two bludgeoning damage as it lands on top of you and you're currently mm-hmm. prone. Uh, what did you do last night? Got killed by a giant ass monkey? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so a baboon. Yeah. Oh, you know I am. <laughs> The usual. That so the yeah. big guy is down. No, but all guys take care of. I, I guess no, the that I am now free to run get away. back up. Well, funnily enough, uh, six of them, right? I'm hoping they all bolt <laughs> their dad away. <laughs> I don't think so. I think one of them just gonna be like, "I'm the alpha now and become the <laughs> big one." <laughs> 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 that's what apes do, like they change colour the bin if one of the when they that's are the other. Back. Uh, well the monkeys are now gonna form the the uh into mega monkey, there's only like <laughs> And they're all gonna turn around and they've all got the same ass clothing. <laughs> oh, it's horrifying. 
feel like they're like um power rangers you know when it's morphing yeah. time it's morphing time <laughs> <laughs> all five monkeys together. I was like, that's that's rubbish, but okay. So at the death and demise of its fearful, fearless leader. Uh where are we? Sorry about this. Uh I'll have you know Ezekiel Scotland and England's Bum. best playing D D. Um, yes. Yes. Yeah, I am not the Scottish. Uh, you can possibly four, get. <laughs> four of the six monkeys. Turn tail and fly away. They just start to <laughs> they fly. They grow wings. Fly. Yeah, yeah. Fly, my pretties. Fly. Fly away. And they just start to run away. Uh, any way which they can. The two in front, though, seem to be fueled by anger. Start to charge further. Uh, so we are now at the point of. I will go to the last two because they are bomb. Bomb. Yep. They will continue on. So one, two, three, four, five, six, boom. Uh no, seeing how you've just taken out a fearful leader. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll do a one, two, boom. That's fine. So this one will attack our good friend Ronan. Uh did, the odds uh, be ever in your favour. Does he fourteen hit you, Ronan? Um no. Nope. Okay. It doesn't. I'm hit joking. You. It does. It does. I'm, my my AC has fourteen. Bang on. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, you will six. take. Nope. Oh, uh, bam, bam, bam. You will take four points of bludgeoning damage. Only four. Yep. Okay. Oh, so thing no. jumps on you. Ah! ah it starts pulling you. Going, ah! Shit! And then all of a sudden, poof, you disappear. You've disappeared. And yes. how did he go? Scott has been on Scott. How's Rich has been waiting the whole time to do this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I disappear. It's a blink yeah. monkey. Yeah. You've got Apparently, to you have dis- Ronan, you have disappeared. Along okay, with if a blink monkey is a thing, we need one. Do I see mm. this? Uh, not from where you're standing. No. Uh, also, do, 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 Sir Janice de Grande. Did the monkey disappear as well, or just Ronan? No, uh, the. Ronan and the monkey. Off. As the monkey jumped on and started hitting at him, all of a sudden it's scratching away and just just disappears. Uh, so Janice Grandy does a five hit. A five does not. No, so this monkey's still on your shoulders. Just going, ah! mm-hmm. it's still trying to hit away at you. Mm-hmm. As this thing just starts going, <laughs> it's just pulling away. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. Genius. Absolute genius. Ronan has Hi, disappeared. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was genuinely beautiful. I love that. That was uh, a sleight of hand, Nat 20, in real life. Yes, love it. Uh, take an inspiration point if you're not going already. <laughs> um, Just yeah. have one of a chin moving. Fair play, fair play. You've got this. Uh, yeah, so that is that. That one ran up to Melgrom. That is fine. We go to Sir Janice de Grande with Nylon Deck. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, monkey that is on my I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery on it. And I'm going to scream at it. If you don't get off my back right now, I'm going to use you to beat the corpse of the big one. Nice. What do I need to roll? <laughs> um, you need to roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh, there, because that'll go well. <laughs> uh, does an 11 pass? It does not. No. Okay. What's the damage? 1d4? 2d4 because I'm level. I'm above level 5. So nice. you take... Ba-ba-ba-da-ba-da-ba. Four psychic damage. Of course I do. Uh, that was that final third. Oh Christ, he's actually still quite, quite healthy. Uh, yes, yeah, so was. That little ah, guy's hanging he on. Puts his hands up, just, <laughs> and then just starts trying to scrape it away again. It did the job to stop him for a couple of minute, uh, for a couple of seconds, but he goes straight back at trying to get you. Uh, yes. Uh, anything else you want to do? Any movement or? Uh, and no, I'll stay where I am for now. 
not a problem. From there, uh, we will go on to Nyla before we go on to the Canopy Monkey. Oh, I shouldn't have rolled for that Canopy Monkey, but we'll say uh, don't worry about it because it'll, it'll skip its turn because it was the one that was attacking you as in a different initiative phase, so oh, yeah. don't, don't worry about that. So don't worry about that. I was thinking, oh, I'm going to have fun Worries. with this, but no, that's not true. However, <laughs> Nyla, is you on deck, and then it'll be Ralph as we go top of the round. Uh, okay, am I stuck? Uh yes. Or can I just get all? Uh, give us a str- give us a strength check. Oh shit! Straight My strength, strength is check. not very good. Um, thirteen. <laughs> yeah, pass. You're fine. You start to get oh. out, but it will cost you half your put. Uh, we'll say it cost you half your uh, your movement to get out. So twenty. Uh, yeah. right. Okay. I am gonna this monkey that's on. So Janice, so Janice, I'm just gonna just gonna punch it in the face. Yep. <laughs> so yep, you run up and okay. Um, I'm gonna, because position. this is this is technically <laughs> grappled, right? I, although he's not grappled, the monkey is on him. So I will say you get disadvantage to hit the thing because it's currently scrambling about. Uh, so Janice to Grandy. So I don't like where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm. If you hit on the disadvantage, you hit the monkey. If you miss on the disadvantage, you're most certainly hitting Sir Janice de Grande. Right, right, well, I rolled a nat 2 and a nat 3, so that would be a yeah. 10 oh, yeah. and a 9. Yeah, both definitely miss. So it's a case of... Ah! Like, roll damage as you hit Sir Janice de Grande. <laughs> 9. So you break his nose basically, so you take nine point, uh, nine points of bludgeoning damage, and then you go. I am suffering in this fight. I am not no, doing no, well. So take, then you swing again, and you clock him on the chin. Uh, roll damage for that as well. Jesus. I mean, you could go for flurry of blows if you wish as well. You know. I was gonna. I wanted to. I want to hit the monkey. Try grabbing the monkey. Supposed to hit every time he what have you got against you in your face? I'm going to use the key point and use fangs oh, of the goodness. fire stick. Yeah. You're using fangs of the fire stick? Yeah. <laughs> Good thing. Yeah, okay. you are. Um... <laughs> Ralph, I think oh, I'm hey, going to need you wait, soon, Is this disadvantage? <laughs> yes. I'm still hiding in my shell. You okay. can spend to increase your reach 10 foot if you're unarmed. So it would increase your uh, range of your attack by 10 feet for the rest of the turn. And it gives uh, you, if it hits, it does a 1d10. Um, yeah, that will be a ten total. <laughs> That's a mess. Yeah, these are these are quite high ACs just because the size, because simple because of the size of them and what they do. Uh, yeah. So, did you roll the second damage for the second attack? No. Roll the second damage. Okay. Oh, well, that's not too bad. It's only five. So you take five points oh, of bludgeoning only... damage. Then roll D ten for the fire damage that you're giving Sir <laughs> Grande. Grande. Uh, that's only a three. You're okay. You take free fire damage as your glorious mustache starts to singe and burn from the second, <laughs> from the second hit from the fire fang. I'm Sorry, just gonna... it, it, it's moving. What did I ever do to you? I thought we were buddies. I, I just out of so did morbid, I. Sorry, sorry, just out of morbid curiosity, how are you looking, Sir Janice de Grande? Well, before um, Nyla decided to assist me. I was at 26 points of health. Assist. Oh my Not god. Anymore. Currently, I am at nine. <laughs> Good thing I didn't hit you. Yeah. Uh, for another one. That's fine. Okay. This so action will have consequences. Oh shit, you the Nyla. on you though. Nyla, for God's sake. Mm. Uh, luckily, the canopy monkey doesn't get its turn because it already took its turn. The gorilla. Uh... You would have been fine anyway, don't worry. The gorilla. He's pausing for a long time, deciding whether or not he wants it to erupt into like mouths and tentacles. I'm so disappointed I didn't hit it. Oh, actually, that's not true. Sorry. Should have went the other way. There we go. Okay. So, uh, where are we? 
So as you were looking at the mouths and the, the mouths of the tentacles of the gorilla, Ralph, it's your turn. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Ralph uh, pops back out of his shell, so I'm going to say he uses half his movement because he was prone when he's in his shell. And he gets up and he looks over. Uh, he sees Nyla punching uh, Sir Janice in the face a few times. Is that accurate? <laughs> Uh, technically, what you see is, with your passive perception, she is trying to hit the, the monkey, to be fair, but the monkey is quite quick and is dodging out the way as he's, she's punching down, uh, not realising that her death speed is probably the way to go, but she's just furiously trying to punch through. <laughs> uh, yes, <yeah>. through me. <laughs> Oops. Uh... Okay, hey, you seem to have that uh, under control, so I'm going to deal with this other one. I've got this, I've got it, I've got it. I've got we it. have lost control a long time ago, Ralph. We have <laughs> lost control. Right, okay, and the other one, is it uh, dealing with uh, Melgrom? Is it about him? Um, it's not attacked me yet, it's just... Rid it's, of uh, it's in uh, Melgrom's range, as Melgrom is currently still uh, restrained. No, you're not restrained now, you're grappled with... Uh, the dead thing. No, no, we'll say you're restrained and you're still prone, basically. But All the right, monkey right. has not attacked him yet. Right, I'm uh, really not sure what to do here, but I don't want to waste too much high-level spells, so I'm going to cast Bless on a Sojanus on, uh, I think Nala needs it, because she's hitting the wrong person. And, <laughs> Melgrim, do you want a Bless, or are you still my enemy? No! <laughs> okay, uh, Rowan, the, enemy, the enemy is my friend. Yeah, okay, I mean, awful, but you, you knocked it back. Yeah, Ronan, uh, boom, there you go. So, sweet lady, please. Can't see you. Uh, my friend. Ronan, can't Sorry, see what's Ronan? Blessed. How? He's, he's not there. Well, he's not there, is he? I think he's paid, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how far Blessed can reach. Can I reach uh, Sally with it? Uh, I mean, uh, oh, Daphne? Oh. You should be able to. Is it 60 uh, foot? Is it like only 30 feet? 30 feet, uh, I thought. Five, 10, 15, I'll walk 20, a bit closer. I'll, I'll walk to here. Yeah, and um, then bless. And then bless whoever I can get. So five, five 10, 10, 15, 15, 10. Yeah, you can get okay. Sally for there. So bless. Daphne, uh, Nyla, and so yeah, Janice, you have a, a D4 to any attacks or saving throws or shit that you do. Um, but yeah. And I'm just going to like, yeah, uh, sweet lady, please help my friends when they uh, join this battle. And then I'm just going to get a stand there because I've used all my movements. Like, you know, where's Ronan? I was in my shell. He was here a minute ago, I'm sure. Yeah. The monkey so are... jumped and poof. Yeah, top of the round. Uh, that was Ralph. Melgrim, uh, as you're going now. Uh, so you're oh. technically restrained. Uh, yeah, you will just... get advantage on getting out because the damn thing's dead. And uh, you're I was going to say, did I get that when I'm restrained? I thought that was only if I was grappled. There's a reason. Uh, Just to clarify, uh, you've got a, plot, a D4 to your uh, attack rolls and any saving throws that you do. What is it I'm doing? Is it an athletic to get it? Uh, yeah, just give us a strength saving throw. You're currently... Uh, you, uh, did you say did, advantage, though? Uh, yeah, you get advantage. You yeah, try your best, but you're still restrained, mate. Uh, it's, it's, oh, fuck, the thing is quite tight. It's almost as if it's still alive, but it's really, really still tight and taut. Mm -hmm. On the kind of what the fuck, as you try and get your legs free, but it's just not for happening. It's just not for happening. Mm -hmm. Ralph is um, looking at you the entire time you're struggling. As a however, bless you can. Really that is that doesn't matter. I got advantage anyway. <laughs> well, but well, you can use the, the bless. Before, though. To be fair, the target number was 14. The bless probably would have took you I, over. I, um, I, still however, I still stand by my decision. <laughs> um, <laughs> however, you can still stand up. You can stand up because it is literally your legs. It's just you can't move from there. So you use half your movement to stand up. You can't move after so, that. Um, I'm going to um, stand you can up. Stop yourself from getting prone, you basically. Said it was, you said it was half my action for that, was it? Uh, no, yes, yeah, we've okay. lost your movement at this point. You're oh. restrained. You can stand up because it's it's still taut. Yeah. It's just not pulling on you. So you're still restrained. So you can't really move away from it, if you know what I mean. So you've stood up, you lost your movement, and then yeah. you've got your bonus action. Uh, action. I, I, I was going to say... Um... <laughs> I know that's um, not how restrained I know, works, by the way, before I know, we go but ahead on this. The, the reason Actually, I was going to say... What? Yeah, you get, your, you get your action. You don't get your bonus action. Fuck it. Okay. Um. Well. My rules is really cool, GM baby. 
I can't, I don't think you're going to allow this because of the scenario, but I was going to use dodge action to boost my AC for this fucking monkey. <laughs> No, oh, you're fine. You're standing still. You're fine. So, um, yes, I'm going to do that. And then with my yeah. feet that I have, Dwarven Fortitude, I get to roll a hit die and heal myself. That's true. <laughs> um, and I think I'm for... I'm holding guidelines I... anyway. Yeah. Um, and I think for a fighter, it's a D8, isn't it? I should... Uh, just because it's a Dwarven... It's, uh, because it's a Dwarven feat, it might actually be a specific thing. Ah, it's it's um, it's it's my um, hit die. It's like the one we roll when we're resting. Uh, your hit point. Uh, what was that? Your dwarven I'll resilience. I'll tell you exactly how it is. Isn't it? I, it's dwarven resilience. It's our fortitude. And um, whenever you take dwarven. the dodge action in combat, you can spend one hit die. Oh, that's your yourself. that's your feet. Ah, yeah, that's, your, that's a feat. You took dwarven fortitude. Yeah. Uh, increases by con. Uh, you spend one hit die to heal yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh, fighters d ten, I think. Pretty sure. Uh, it must be D10, D10 yeah. I think. The, the oh, yeah, D10 was... plus your, uh, D10 plus three. Cool. Gone. So the D10 was six, so seven, eight, nine. nine. Yeah, nine hit points, and obviously I'm taking the dodge, so my AC is a little higher. And yeah, I'm just so sat there, like up. looking at it, covered in the blood of its fucking dad, just scowling at this monkey, like fucking moaning. <laughs> That is absolutely fine. Uh, is that all you're doing, mate? Yeah. Yeah. I will probably die, but I needed yeah. some help. <laughs> well, I uh, just just to clarify, your AC doesn't go up. Uh, all it does is gives uh, disadvantage. I'm pretty sure when you take the dodge focus entirely. All right. Oh, right. I, I'll it has disadvantage. Yeah, it has disadvantage on it. Right. Whichever that's actually good, better. Small crate also has disadvantage. Yep. I was going to say that's actually better that he's disadvantaged. Um, uh, yeah, well, t- depends. It depends on the situation, but more often than not, I would rather have yeah. disadvantage. <laughs> uh, um, Daphne, uh, is your go with uh, an interesting point of Ronin's turn coming up next? Um, His legs I... appear. Ah! <laughs> Can I use two spells? No, not necessarily. Mm-hmm. Uh, Can you use one per turn? Yeah. Okay, so on the this monkey, I'm going to put the hunter's mark on it. Move your hunter's mark over, of course. That is fine. I will take your hunter. Oh. Uh, actually, Ronan, your hunter's mark is going to drop. Uh... Yeah, I can imagine so. You mean it doesn't yeah. work through dimensions? That's ridiculous. Hello? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who said anything about dimensions? He's um, probably just invisible I mean, or again, something. I was just being silly. I, I think he's teleported them to the other monkeys and he's just getting like eight. <laughs> <laughs> he's got like 70 monkeys on him. <laughs> I'm transported to the world. Hey, that, 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 yeah, so that works on our so favour. Your be hunter's fair. mark goes over, that's your bonus action. And yeah. I'm going to move towards... Um, Who's this? Uh, yeah. That is Nyla. Yeah. That's me, yeah. Be very Nyla. careful you're going near Nyla. She might attack you. <laughs> yeah. <she's laughs> like, I feel like I need to smack her shit. around the head and be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, she, she Just a little, you, you know, like how you do things when you walk um, I'm trying to hit the monkey. Yeah, to be, to be right fair, Daphne, you can see Ow. what she's trying to do. It's just not going well. Yeah, I'm still going to hit her around the head like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Is that, all, is that all you're doing, yeah? Yeah. Excellent, because <laughs> we go to Ronan. So, Ronan, the last thing you remember is when this monkey started attacking. You went, ah, and you were closing your eyes, and all of a sudden, it goes cold. Really cold. I'm going, what the fuck? And you pull the monkey off. Is it still running about? You're going, ah! You just turn around, and you look across, and the fuck am I? It is the most unusual soul-shaking view you can see. You're standing on something. You don't know what, but there seems to be a lot of snow, yet the sun is shining brightly on you from the left-hand side as you look around and you can see vastness, and I mean vastness, of space, time and galaxies itself. You're seeing 
creatures you never even thought were possible, even in the in the can canopies of Felorium. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Wisdom saving throw. You can't wait to meet um, Ro your new character, James. <laughs> <laughs> You are the, same. <laughs> the Kenny of the stream. You have, you have no idea what's happened. It's scaring the fuck out of you. Uh, you will take... Buh, buh, buh. <laughs> you will take seven points of psychic damage and you are now freaking the fuck out. Uh, so... <laughs> You lose your bonus action, you lose your movement, you do have your action. Uh, yes. What are you doing? The only thing I probably can do is just to swing my short sword. Uh, at this monkey? Yeah. Yeah, that is cool. Uh, if you want to go and do that for me, mate. Grapple that monkey. Though. Yeah, hits. You've just killed your only way out. <laughs> uh, that second one doesn't hit. Oh, uh, imagine. So do the 24. That'll uh, do the damage. That is five points of piercing. Yeah, how do you want to do that? Oh, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. <laughs> no, no, that, this is not something you want to be killing right away. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm so, just you slash across it, but uh, it comes, it falls off you, and then all of a sudden, uh, goes to its turn as it jumps up. Uh, it could just leave you there, man. I'm genuinely scared of what's going to happen here. Does a nineteen hit? Yeah. Uh, yep. Uh, you take it off. <laughs> well, I'm really rolling really well on these. Uh, you take four points of bludgeoning damage as it comes down uh, on you really, really hard. As it starts to grab onto you, uh, it's absolutely mauling at your face again, your eyes closing as you appear. Same space, basically. However, you're ten foot up in the air and you start to fall with the monkey on you, mate. Uh, as you're, ah, uh, you're only 10 foot up, you're fine. Uh, so from there, it's a case of you're back from whatever the fuck you were. Can I try, can I try and give him? No, that's, that's an action. I was going to try uh, and grab the monkey and make sure I land on it, but that's an action. Um, uh, yeah, unfortunately not. That would have been cool. Um, however, uh, you are currently prone and the monkey is currently on top of you. It's starting to sway him away. Uh, it's already attacked though, it's not going to do much after that. Yeah. Uh, the second monkey will go after our good friend. Of Melgrim. Does if Oh, honey, I actually roll disadvantage. Not that it matters. <laughs> uh, does he three what? hit? No, and I'm going to report. <laughs> yeah, that is okay. Uh, do you have any left to do that, that one? my last one. Right, okay. Uh, by the way, you lose your AC bonuses. I know, because I have no move. Yeah. I, I, I knew that. Don't worry. Yep. Uh, um, if you want to repost, uh, you get to hit. Uh, yeah, you get to hit. Roll your damage. And then roll your... Oh. And then roll your D8, as, uh, D10 for the... D8, I think. For the superiority dice. I think. I should really do more. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Again, love it. Uh, yeah, At least lovely. it's just an extra attack during hit turn. <laughs> I can't even complain uh, too yeah, much. So, as it jumps and it jumps back onto you, as it starts to try and get at you. <laughs> right, uh, that will be that. We will go on to <clears throat> Sir Janice de Grande. Janice, what you want to do? All right, I'm pulling my dagger out of my belt and I'm going to try and stab this guy on my back in the eye before anyone else tries to assist again. Awesome. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> Someone has to. Yeah, 21. Hey. Roll your damage, bud. Huzzah. 
I swear to God, if he survives this, I'm going to stab something else. You mean me? Seven <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, uh Yeah, it's just... Ah, get right in the side of its mouth as it comes through and pierces it just out, and it's... It pulls it out, and... As it starts to attack you again. Are you having a laugh? These are made for this. Uh, there was a whole purpose. This uh, help to divide and disorientate. Uh, Nyla, what are you doing, my dear? <laughs> Would you like to help again? Yeah, I'm going to help again. Uh, now, how are, are you, you going sure? to help? I'm asking, how are you going to help? I'm going to hit. I'm, g- I'm going- actually going gonna, gonna to hit it this time. Right, I, I will not hit him. I, I will hit it. I believe in will you. Other people get um, twenty six on there. Twenty six will hit. Roll the damage. I want you to understand that as you're Seven. throwing this punch, Janice is watching you with terror in his eyes. Yeah. I've so got you it, don't worry. do the first I've punch this. as it as it starts to pull the dagger out. You go whack and you catch it just in its momentary lapse of concentration. You boom. <laughs> Still standing, but it looks pretty fucked up now. You have one and more attack. I'll... Use flurry of blows. Well, oh, you've still got one attack. You can still okay. Hit the uh, fifteen. Uh, uh, is that with disadvantage? Oh, and you've got a uh, yes, and you do have bless if you want to use your bless. Uh. And did you roll us? Wait, would would a fifteen hit? No. Okay, then I missed. Are you that. rolling at disadvantage as well? Yes. You... I rolled okay. an eleven. So you rolled an 11. I rolled, uh, I rolled a 15, then 11. Okay, so the 11, well, even with the D4, that wouldn't hit. So we'll oh, do the on. damage. If you rolled on. an 11, what's your plus, mm-hmm. what's your attack bonus? Oh, yeah, 7. So that's 18. That what am I on about? Thanks, Lee. <laughs> there we go. Hits, roll the damage. Sir Janice thanks you as well, Lee. Uh, so you've been I'm, doing not, this with... I'm not with it right now. I'm uh, not with yeah, it at clearly. All. I was about to say, so you've been doing this. Mm-hmm. You know what's comedy? I, I like the uh, fact that it's a giant. It'll be a on. ten damage. Yeah, bang! As you punch it and it just flies off and lies flat dead. It is dud. Woohoo! We got it. Yeah. I'm feeling quite sad about Everybody the amount like little compatriot monkeys that we've killed. I mean, like, I'm not feeling. Oh, yeah. Apologies for the hits. Hey. Um, it was. I really wanted to kill it. Uh, that canopy monkey's dead. Uh, we go back to the top of the round. Uh... He dead. Oh. Yep, I, mean, yeah. I need to check something though. <gasps> Does he come back? Uh oh. Loads of little insects come out of his come out of his bum mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Warning. So, so uh, as you're dealing with the monkey, and you've, the monkey throws off, and obviously Sir Janice the Grande is just so happy you didn't hit him this time. Uh, you start to feel uh, something just behind you, uh, both of you. You start to feel a rumble with with under the uh, under the gorilla, as oh, it starts man. to get louder and louder, and it's just the body starts to expand. We will okay. leave it there for this evening because it's hey. half ten and we need to go. Mm-hmm. But we are top of the round, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe something's coming up from the ground. We're in the trees. Eh, very are well, we? could be. We are in the trees. Uh, well. It's a rumble in the right. tumble. You bring up an excellent point there, Lee. I forgot that. What an incredible smell you've discovered. Yeah. Sure. It'll what explode. Happens? I'm assuming it's going to be all either exploding in the horribleness or it's going to be much, much worse. Well, Sir Grande is fucked if we're going to get damaged. <laughs> Sir Grande yeah. is very we much fucked. Uh, I, mean, I also over. just wandered over beside this as well. I'll just go over here because I know what's happening. Okay, yeah. Now the thing's exploding. I'm actually getting a chance to catch up on chat because I couldn't read any of the chat messages. Yeah, I was... Uh, hey. There were several times people were very funny. Yeah, I'm sure they were. I'll need to, I'll need to look, watch back and... See how everything went. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so brilliant. We will continue this. Uh, mopping up the rest of it, to be fair. But again, it's half ten. And we used, we did say half ten would be the cutoff point. So genuinely, guys, uh, thank you very much for joining us. Um, David, you got anything you want to plug, mate? Uh, I want to plug this um, happening next Tuesday usually does we have another game on monday you have the ones that you stream there as well i am not part of that one 
but I absolutely support everybody who goes to watch it because we're fan Dabby Dozy. And I get punched less in the face in that one, so I, I bet that'll be fun <laughs> for everybody. Slightly punched less in the face in that one. Uh, Jim, uh, anything you want to promote while we're here? Yes, I want to promote this and keep watching this. It's good stuff happening. And another thing, two of my friends have got this uh, paranormal group called Unlock Paranormal. If you're into yes. scary, spooky things, I'm also part of the team. You can find them at their web their websites. Look for Unlock Paranormal on Facebook, and the group should be there if you want to join in our investigations. I was going to say, along. do they stream on Twitch as well? Because I was going to say we should probably get a link to them. If they do Twitch, they do do Twitch they, 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 they put it up on YouTube and Facebook. No, right. just, so they also have a YouTube. YouTube. Yes, yeah, but they, they go around. All. Yeah, they do go around uh, spooky yeah. buildings and that. If, they if, go you fo- if you follow James and anything, I'm sure that he'll update you on the next time he's doing something with it. Yeah, yeah we're doing um, one pretty soon for Halloween one. I'm amazing. <laughs> um, <laughs> Lee, is there anything you want to want to promote? Uh, yeah, follow us at Sonic Check Gaming on Instagram. We will put the link in the bio. Uh, and of course, Vampire Wendy's, I believe, starts tomorrow. Certainly does. Yeah, it does. The very first, uh, uh, the very first inaugural uh, season debut of our Vampire the Masquerade game, the new that. rules uh, edition of San, Fr- uh, San Francisco by Night, run by our uh, very mm-hmm. own Real Sly Marble and a couple uh, of players. Who I think are in this uh, this group as we. Speak. I was going to say, I think Sally's in, Scott's in, Rachel's in, and Jimothy's in. Uh, very oh, in. I love, uh, yeah, no dick though, Fluff, unfortunately. Fl- Fluff, really Gar, I think that's that what That's I, really I just an advantage is. to everybody, I'm sure. Yeah, that's an yeah, <laughs> advantage that dick isn't in it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> be fair, you try to it. eat me with an ad. <laughs> Yeah. Like, uh, however, I will be watching. I you will see be that now. Watching because I want to see everyone yeah. fail so I can laugh at them and say, "Hi, you should have had me." We should point yeah. out with the vampire that is going to be a rotating cast. I remember that. Yes. Uh, yeah. Anyhow, uh, Rich, uh, anything you want to promote? Uh, just thank you to everyone who has um, subscribed or watched or um, what's the other thing called? Um, one second. No, when you end his bets, cheers, that kind of thing. Yeah, I can't. Money. Think what I'm not trying <laughs> to even think if we of. do anything related to channel that's good for us. Thanks for that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, just anything, like anything that you've done. Anything for promotion is great. Um, Sally, have you got anything else you want to promote other than your other other vampire game that I'm not invited to? <laughs> yeah, other other. <laughs> uh, just my vampire Glasgow by night. Uh, because we are actually officially finished the first like season so by the end of the month it should be all released onto youtube and other like online platforms such as facebook uh instagram and twitter amazing so, yeah. um if you haven't Hello. seen the youtube shorts that they've done about introducing to the characters and some of the episodes have got up the now i highly recommend it. it is actually really good and i'm not just saying that because she's one of our my players but hey <laughs> Because I wasn't invited, I could have, I could have I've, I've actually them. I not even. Them. I've actually not even seen Sally's introduction, and I enjoyed the ones I've seen. Yeah, it yeah, was really good. Um, and our good man Lazy Egypt here, Scott. Uh, anything you want to promote other than naps? Um, yeah, it's like <laughs> make sure you get a solid eight hours. Um, our good friend James is, is going to start an ASMR channel. <laughs> we just going to snore our way through. That is, I mean, that's a that's a Twitch thing. People uh, sleeping, and then you pay money to like do air horns beside their head and that kind of stuff. So yeah. that's what Scott's branching out. But, into. I'm pretty sure Gordon will this? spend all his money <laughs> to do yes, that air true. horn on me. <laughs> Anyhow, um. On top of that, um, I'm Dick Naylor, obviously. I, I play in Mutant Mondays as well. I'm not playing on Vampire on Wednesdays, but hey, we can't all be perfect. Uh, I also have a streaming service, mm-hmm. uh, Working Class Hero. Hopefully, I'm going to be starting that up soon. I've got an idea for a game instead of uh, Ghost of Tsushima because that's going to take ages to come out on the PC. I'm also promoting the fact I'm wrestling on the Friday down in Douglas. Um, I can't remember the name of the centre again. I keep forgetting. I should yeah, know this. It's in Bride Centre. It's in Bride Centre down in Douglas. Good. Yeah, uh, Friday, 7 o'clock. If anyone's local to South, uh, South Lanarkshire or knows of the area down in Douglas, please come along. Uh, tickets are still available as far away, and you get to see me get beaten up by kids while I'm dressed in a 
slinky uh, spandex outfit wearing knee high leather boots and knee high uh, and actual knee pads and getting pummeled in the ring for 10 minutes no Richard what have I told you about taking the ring I sell that well (laughs) oh I think I sell that perfectly well anyhow uh, so um, I hope everyone's enjoyed the last sanity check game and stream (laughs) yeah they were going to be cancelled and removed from the web but again uh, thank you very much for joining us for the sixth episode of the world of Mm -hmm. Felorium obviously the comeback took a wee bit longer just because of the reasons and that because it's only a half hour show too long next week but mm. however uh thanks again for joining us for all the subscribes and we will catch you again uh remember to join in for wednesday though, mondays tuesdays and wednesdays we will now be pro- oh, sorry every second wednesday we'll be providing content yeah and we're even looking to expand in another day as well so we're, if anyone's we got any ideas or anyone wants to offer but hey thanks again guys we'll see you later we have things coming up we have ideas this isn't everything we provide anyway bye it is